Hello, uh, today I'm joined by Mr. Stephen BT, a man of many talents. I first came to notice Stephen on the Sean Atwood podcast. Um, hello Stephen, how's life treating you? Good Jimmy, a little bit hungover. You've been partying. I hope it was a socially distanced party. It was, it... what... You was partying on yourself it with was, a mask yeah. on, yeah. hand sanitizer after every bottle. And stuff like you know that. it was it wasn't that bad actually there was a bit of distance it was like on a table like this and we really keep a distance i socially distance every night i sit at house on my fucking own like nobody will fucking entertain me same, so same as always well, you, you've got a lot going on and you've got many stories i've, I've seen you on ian can't beat the weed 420's yeah. channel hello ian if you watching ian. all right buddy um so you, there's a lot more to you um than your initial story on sean's podcast was a bit being banged up in yeah. japan in a tough jail kind of thing yeah so we'll skate we'll, 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 yeah. we'll skate over that and then we'll get to the other stuff you've done lots of things kind of thing we've got oh yeah before before i do forget when we go to that i've got i've got my little bible that i wrote okay that, that i'd say to myself every day at, at the break I'll, I'll i'll get in and i'll read it out while i used to read to myself every, every morning is it affirmations type of thing or a lot of attraction type of stuff? Uh, it's just uh, like some i, I just wrote down that i was going to get get myself through it and uh and I'd, like I'd, like a manta that's it yeah yeah right so this is your book it's, right no right so when i first got arrested well i've got like i had the stop smoking book alan carb and i had this book okay and Guns, germs, and oh, what the bloody hell is it? Guns, germs, and steel. Is that a novel? Or something? But uh, uh, it's a book. It's a book. It's really a good book, but okay. very uh, deep. It's about deep. It's about hum humanity. How right. how we, we end up going left and right, and how the British end up uh, this and because okay. of because of guns, germs, All and right. steel, basically. Okay. Right. Gerald Diamond. Right. Yeah, I recommend that book. I'd only just started reading it. But because it was so deep, right. I couldn't fucking read it there. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I couldn't. I, I must have been over a year before I started to read it. Did you it, it, it was too. It. So, but stuff like this, because I was learning to uh, speak uh, Thai. I've, I've always, I've had this for years. Okay. So, because I didn't have many places to write, <laughs> I wrote in here. All right. I mean, look at all this absolute. It's where I started to draw as well. Learning to draw. See what I'm doing. <laughs> so, what age did you learn to draw? Well, at school. School. But then I didn't, after leaving school, I uh, I was a bricklayer, and that yeah. was it. Never yeah, did yeah. it again until the end of the so year. So how, how did you get from being a bricklayer uh, in, in your early life to ending up being in a jail? And, well, we're scared to all of this. We, <laughs> yeah. we won't get too deep. You've talked about it before. Ha, yeah. So, uh, a breakup, really. Yeah, yeah. I had a, I had a bad breakup, found Thailand, and thought, that'll do I don't, it, in a, not the real world. Yeah, I'm yeah. escaping the real world by going over there. Didn't want to face reality. Okay. Next minute. Fucking, yeah, it, you, it was what it is. You're going with the wrong, you met some of the wrong people. I you? wouldn't say that. No, no, I definitely wouldn't say that. Um, uh, but yeah, it, you know, shit happens. And, yeah, uh, yeah. And yeah, no, it's, my own, it's all my own fault or my just, own choice. Was it just kind of like some, somebody said, yeah, it's a way of making money, you can, no, you can no, smuggle it, things. No, was it just no, your own idea? No, no, I, I knew that we, I knew we'd be going, going on for ages. Okay. I never needed to do it. I actually, I did my neck in water scheme. Okay. And uh, once I'd done that injury, I really knackered myself in, so I couldn't brick lay it anymore. Okay. And, uh, next one, and uh, my mum my mum died, and my dad had already died, and I kind of went, fuck it, I'm not going home. Yeah, I can't yeah. I can't brick lay anymore. I had this option. Next minute, I, but I only did it once, right? Yeah. And I didn't do it again for four years because of the first experience. But I'm never doing that again. You know what? And that was to Japan the first time, the one I got away with the first time. I, I, I it was four years before I did it again. It must take some stones that. But I, I remember. I remember. Um, I, I did a cig run for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I did a cig run from Tenerife with somebody. Yeah. They, they, they pay you some money and you fill your case with cigs. And I was shitting my fucking self. Yeah. You know, and I'd, I'd have probably got slapped on the hand. And, and, well, but, one, he, of my, one of my best mates, Jason, <coughs> he, uh, he's done some cigarette runs. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people thought he was involved. Yeah. He had nothing to do with it. And I've seen him do cigarette runs. Yeah, yeah. And he, his arse goes like, fuck. If he's got one sleeve over, so, <laughs> I'm thinking, he will be the worst ever <laughs> drugs I, yeah you, you need you need to be stupid and, and balls as well i don't want to say like you need balls but because i don't want to like, brag about you it know you, but you need you need a bit of a confidence 
Yeah. Once I was committed to doing it, I believed what was, and I went full in with the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason I was going to go to India, and because I'd always say, I'm not just going to go to India for a cup, for a day, pick up some drugs and fuck off, because that's what a lot were doing to Europe. Yeah, yeah. I said, right, I'm going to Goa. I go, I go down to Goa and I go, uh, I'd have a proper holiday. Like I was coming back from somewhere. Um, okay. And then when I was like, when I was going to uh, Japan, we had all the diving gear and we had all the diving routes where we were going to go diving and everything. We planned a holiday to what we were going to do. So the story was absolutely bang on. The second time wasn't the same. I had a different story, but but you know what I'm saying? So he'd ask to it. Yeah, yeah. I'd even, because I've no tattoos or anything, I put a shirt on and it's amazing, right? Uh, I got fake glasses then. It was okay. clear. Yeah, yeah. Put glasses on. Different style makes of glasses Whoa. from being like a, a bald thuggy type. Yeah, yeah. To a shirt and glasses. If you, if you go through, if you go through, you're looking like it's yeah. like if it's one you if you ever want to shop with him, it's best to wear a suit in it really because the security. What? Yeah, it, like it, it makes a hell of a difference. You know what I mean? They, you did take the eye off the ball. Yeah. They see a suit, don't they? And they think like you know, um, he must be a respectable character yeah. kind of thing. There's definitely something to it. Because uh, I remember, I, I tried to speak a bit more uh, in, uh, plain the alien. Good evening, good evening, sir. Are you okay? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, hello, yeah. <laughs> because I don't think they fully understand the Northern accent anyway, but if you just speak a little bit more clearly, yeah, um, I think I guess it helps, um, I, maybe. I don't, got caught, so I'm... <laughs> I don't think I could do it at all, because I remember going for a, went to Amsterdam and got stoned, and on way back, I was just, they had nothing on me, and I was just stoned, and I just, I must have looked up at the thing you go through, you know what I mean? Oh, they, yeah, I think yeah, they fucking... Yeah. And they just went to me and they fucking sitch me and everything kind of thing. I, I, I get paranoid even going through them things. So the amount of stones it must take to I do mean, that. I mean, like ye amazing. years ago, this was before all this stuff, uh, a friend of mine, uh, part of the early rave scene, and uh, they used to smuggle ease from uh, Amsterdam. One point, he, he was throwing straps to him or something. He's in a row coming off. It was with his girlfriend and uh, he, had to, he didn't have any underpants on. So what, he had to get her knickers on and shove them all in the knickers. Okay. He, said, he said, I couldn't even speak. So we got pulled over. He says, I were all dry. And they said, like, oh, where have you come with? And he just went, so I couldn't speak. But his girlfriend kind of went, he's lost his voice. We're, he's not been, like, really covered it. He was like, going, fucking hell. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, th this little gang back then as well, do you know what they were doing? Hiring babies. They, they pick a baby up, all the baby up, be all full of ease and stuff. Not in the big, but you know, in the pram, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. The couple that pick the baby up, go over as a family, and the next minute someone's going to take the baby. Yeah, it's a bit of the hell. Yeah. Fucking Absolutely hell, nothing to do with me. It's just one of the stories that I know. Would the baby get like in. jailed for it if it was caught full of ease kind know, of thing? Like a baby jail or something like I that. Imagine uh, that. Yeah, yeah. Talking shit, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a weird world. It must be a buzz when you get through though the other side kind of thing. It, I would say no. It's not even a buzz. Is it not? Is it just fucking relief? Relief. Yeah, I can remember like that first time in Japan. I remember you thinking, yeah, after it was all done because we really got searched. They searched through everything. Um, we got in that taxi. Me and, me and my mate got to the, the hotel. I just remember going in, li lying there on bed, just going. Because <sighs> I would absolutely, it was because we really thought we were going to get caught. So and we and we blagged it through really good, like yeah. having banter with the guys. I had condoms and I had some porn that I bought in Taiwan. So I, he was saying, oh, I said, is this okay? This dog with the porn, and I put uh, this like DVD player in the computer bag, and this and that. And I've got the condoms, and I'm saying. Cause he's saying what are you doing here you're gonna go uh yeah I, I felt like he was trying to ask me what i was going to do is in what were you going to see and all that and i basically said that's not not real i said we're not going to do the obvious uh in that hard place you know in narita where all the war was okay i said i says maybe a little bit but mainly karaoke drinking and uh like that condoms went meet some japanese ladies hopefully and he's went oh, oh. And uh, I said, like, I seen it on the walls, no uh, porn. Is that okay? No, I don't mind throwing it away. Yeah, you know, yeah. but I, I didn't, never even thought about it. He said, no, no, it's okay. So as I'm chattering away, at the same time, the other two are scanning them all, feeling all the bags, as I'm seeing in the corner of my eye, and I'm randomly talking about porno and this and that, and about drinking and... Uh, yeah. So honestly, and I could also, my mates next up, there's only us two. Uh, the, the, there's only that, and with this other guy, this CID... Uh, gym and about three workers on this huge ferry it was out of season and we, we were stuck in taiwan for like a week because of the tornadoes right. 
so we just stuck there. And uh, so yeah, anyway, we had got through it and when when eventually uh, and also right, we've still gotta to get to Tokyo. We're we're on you remember like there's it's an island, it's another eighteen yeah, hours boat okay, trip right, away. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh so so we eventually gets the 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 bullet train that was a good buzz. My mate says he thought we were caught on there. I was asleep, mate. Funny, how, right? I'm asleep there. I'm absolutely knackered as well because obviously we've been on the pissing Narita for for a couple of days. Always like relieved and shit. Yeah. We uh, I, I go to sleep on the, uh, the brilliant these massive chairs on this boat okay. just far flying through. I think it's about eight or nine hours from all the way up to Tokyo. Next minute. I don't know, halfway through, whatever, my mate comes to see me, he says, fucking hell. He says, I just thought we were busted. I said, I nearly walked you for us to go running. I go, wow, what, what's happened? Plus, I, right, I know, so I'm led there. I've got an hard on. You know, I'm like that. He's going, I'm, I'm waiting for He's going, he says, you've got an hard on. I went, oh, for fucking hell. You know, I can feel people walking past and just spread them like that. So anyway, we got all these bags and he said, we pulled up to this uh, station. There's a lot of police there. They've all gone looking on the train like that. Looked at him and they've gone, oh. Here he is. Okay. As, so I'm in the smoking part as well. He's down a different part. He's, he said, for, oh my God, to wake you up and just fucking, because they're here, they come for us. 100% they come for us. This is what he's thinking. I don't know. You're like, yeah. And he says, no, so they all walk past me. So I sat there like that, kind of like, like giving like what you're doing, a bit of a sleep. So they all just walk past me. I just thought, oh, I thought, he says, I'm, a, I'm being paranoid because I could have sworn, like whatever, 10 of them, they've all gone like that. There he is. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> So anyway, so we, it gets worse here because when we get to this hotel, so he's done it before, right? I don't know how long for, maybe a year before. So we get to this hotel in uh, Rapung Rapungi. It's like the main kind of sleazy area, but it's not, but it's like a main area. We get in this hotel, we got a different room. So we put all the bags in one room, went to um, another room, and uh, this other, this guy's doing all the calling. Next minute, uh, at the door, right, right there, through the eye thing. I'm like, okay, that's the right dodgy looking bastard. He says, he says he's shifty as fuck, like with a lock on. Like, uh, all right, mate. Uh, so in his Iranian, he's going, whoa. I'm thinking, what? He's going, oh, you get, get the get bag, bags, bags. I'm going, right, wait a minute. I said, come in, come in. And he's going, uh, like looking round, proper shifty, and he's going, oh, bags, bags, we're going, no, m money, money. No, 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 no money, no money, bag, bag, like that, oh, what's going on Is here? this the person you're selling it to? You yeah. Of, yeah. Okay, right, or, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, all yeah. Your, we've just got these phone numbers, right, when you yeah. get there, you, 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 our mates that, we have, you pay yeah, the yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. really know them. Yeah, yeah. So even if you wanted to grasp, for example, you haven't even got a choice, cause you, all you can say is that's the phone number. Yeah, yeah. So this guy's uh, shifty as fuck, and he's going, oh, wait, 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 uh, he's, and he's on the phone, and he's going, uh, 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 I'm like, uh, and me and my mate are going, what the fuck? Yeah. I think I said, like, I said, this cunt's fucking well dodgy. I said, he's sweating. So why is he sweating? Yeah, he's going to fuck off. It weren't even that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I'm thinking, is he going to fucking do his over mm. and uh, get the bags? Because we haven't got the bags, he doesn't know what the fuck to do. It's is, confused him. This Iranian maf is this Iranian mafia, they like, so all just so oh, all Iranian it, criminals. I, I, Iranian criminals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all different groups of them. So anyway, he fucks off. Me and I are going, right, what do you reckon? Uh, but we had a golf bag, right? I went and got the seven iron. I said, right, from me, from now on, so you do all the talking. Because he was he was good with the math and all that because yeah, yeah. exchange rates and everything. So you do all that fucking talking. I'm ready with the seven iron to clock this cunt because the proper thought we were going to get shot or something. But then we're saying, oh, it's not that much. It's not worth They're not going to fucking shoot us in a hotel over. It just was a relative amount, but it's only, you know, it's not you like... Really, uh, do you not want to say what, um, the, the, what, what money... You don't have I, to. They've said no, I wasn't even that sure. I was trying to remember. I think it's like $18,000. That's not a lot of money for your liberty, though, isn't it, at the time? Was it no, yours? but also at the time, we, I think after that, I knew some guys that got caught with only two... We had a lot the first time. Yeah, yeah. I think we had five kg each, four right. or five each. Right. I got I got caught with two. It's hash, this kind of thing. Uh, uh, chocolate, they call it, uh, resin. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, like, you know that stuff that... Rocky you, Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you that, burn yeah. it up and it, it... Yeah, it's a lot of different smell. Everybody's smoking bush now, aren't they? I want to ask you something about that. Is it true that... Uh, I've heard stories over the years that 
the the the, the hash, the the brown lump. Yeah. There's all kinds of shit mixed in with it, like but like fucking I don't, plas- I don't plastic know. and shit and I'm all. Not- well, I presume not, because I presume that's the really good stuff, because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. from Nepal, the stuff and we where get... it's done, there's like, ah. little, there's like a little factory in Nepal, where they uh, do it, and, and it gets shipped out from there, like this, obviously, secret place. Digressing, quickly, I've heard stories that the, the, there's this stuff called Nepalese temple ball, where the monks go through the fields, with the walking with the fingers, and they get it all over the fingers, eventually, like, you get all over the fingers, yeah. and you get, like, this big ball of, um, you know, weed, kind of, THC, it's pure oh, right, THC, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Uh, but I've never heard about oh, that. Yeah. I know it's like a myth, like, you know, it's, all, it's, I don't it's a know. nice story. I've, I've never heard but it, But yeah. it's going through yeah. fields, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so the, uh, there's a knock on the door. I look through. There's two guys there. I said to me, mate, there's two guys here. And I said, have a look. He's looked through. He's gone, I know him. I know this one. The last time he was here, he says he's sound. He opened okay. the door and went, hey. They're like, how are you doing? Long time for all this. Because they end up partying a lot. Okay. So it was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Thank God. That was probably one of the scariest bits of it all. Yeah. I really thought it was going to get done get, over. Get rid of, I'll get ripped off. And that, he spoke, yeah. spoke really good English. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying, what's wrong with this guy? He's going, oh, he's never done it before. He just works for us. He's he, paranoid. He's absolutely shitting himself. He's thinking you're going to kill him. He says, he thinks you're going to kill him. I said, I think I was going to fucking kill him. Yeah. And he thought, and you thought yeah. he was going to kill yeah. you, kind of. So thing. obviously, whatever. He's thinking, what's going on here? I'm thinking, what's going on? Yeah. We're both in that uh, thing. Yeah. So anyway, eventually, uh, yeah, he paid us up. We banged it in the safe. And then, uh, and we both of us, like a couple of, we got the fake Armani suits on. We went for this big, uh, swanky uh, Italian steak. And then next minute, it was 600, I have a dollars a pound. In an hour, we spent in the lap dancers. You spent, you spent that money you smuggled yeah. in an hour on, No, you? like, not in this, but it's 600 pounds Oh, right, dollar. yeah, yeah. I remember thinking, fuck, we said, like, just on $600 there. Ten, ten Bob Millionaires kind <laughs> yeah. of thing. Fair but it, oh, yeah. I'd never, I'd never regret that, because it was a good laugh. We're on, it was a right, the normal scam. It was like uh, $50 for free drinks for an, for an hour. Well, that sounds good. Uh, but no, next minute. There's only me and him and these yeah. two girls, absolutely gorgeous, they were Romanian. Yeah. And uh, and they went pretty far with the lap dancers. So the permanent lap dancer, we're drinking champagne, wine, you name it. Anyway, next, it's easy to get to 600 quid in these I can, ima- I can imagine. Kind You've of got thing. the big uh, Nigerian doorman, like, hovering, making sure we're going to pay. Obviously, we knew we were going to pay, but, you know, I got scammed years ago when we were at school in yeah. uh, Soho, the classic scam. Only, only 15. Come on. I only had a fiver on me as well. Fiver, right? I was the skintest kid ever. Fiver was everything to me. But also, I was a pervy little bastard. And we were going on a school trip. Or, uh, and next minute, we have slide off to Seoul. Okay. And me and my mate went in. He did, he was a milk, he did a milk, milk round. And they got 25 quid off him. So he was like big time. This is a scam. We've gone in. And uh, like that, do you want a drink? And uh, I remember they said, I said, uh, how much is a pint? Uh, they went tenner for a pint. So this is in nineteen eighty-five. Fifteen, sixteen, fifteen. F- 15 I'm, I'm still at school. In the last year at school, it's either or it was a school uh, youth club trip because they was on it because he left school. So I you know it was a youth club trip. But I'm, I'm still at school. Oh, okay. The school teachers were there as well as the youth leaders. So we we'll slide off into this place, and then they're going. Uh, so we don't obviously we don't know anything about the scamming or anything. Or any about prostitute or nothing with it. We just know we're in Seoul and it's where it all goes on. So she's saying it's uh, ten pound. When it was probably about seventy p for a pint then. So I'm going ten pound. I thought, well, I've only got a fiver. I thought if I said, can I have a half? She's yeah, a fiver. For, I thought, does that mean I get like half a shag? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is my baby brains. Yeah, but yeah. It, that can't be just for the drink. That must be a, a secret way of saying. You know, I'm, me, me pervy brain's trying to just want to go along with it. I think I mean, he might touch some tits or something. Anyway, next minute, uh, and this this junky woman's come sat and she's off her head. Uh, do, do you want to drink for the lady? I'm going, I haven't got any more money. That's all I've got. Like, I'll that off. My mate says, yeah, I'll get I'll get a one. So he's got a one. And then that's it, they've done us. Yeah. And, uh, and they goes, right, okay, you should build so far. Uh, 65 quid. Fuck I'm going, yeah. Do you mean 65 quid? Well, I, I only had half. I, I, I've only, only got five. <laughs> we met and he's going, whoa. He said, like, her drink was something like 30 quid. Oh. We were paying for the a thingy on the wall, like some, t- uh, what's it called? Like a, 
you know, a visual thing. Right. This and that, just a scam, 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 scam. Right. Oh, we've got five in. And then the next week, the doorman have come. And they've roughed, not roughed us up, but they've gone like, oh, you're right, you know, it's big brew. It's shit easy, isn't it? Fucking arse. You, you I mean, young lads. I mean, they're oh, little pervs. They know they're only. Let me tell you a story about. We, uh, I used to run a comedy night in a, a lap dancing club in Wigan called Stilettos, and it's oh, proper fucking God. run down. Right, one of, one of the girls come in one day, and she'd had Chris. Uh, on her back in Indian Tattoo. ink over her oh. shoulder right get onto this right following week she comes in Chris had been crossed out in Indian ink and Dave <laughs> had been written over the top oh. and my mate had a lap dance off it he says her tits were like two pity breads oh. nailed to her shed oh, but uh, I'm sorry if it's getting a bit but the thing with lap dancing is it's frustrating isn't it because I've, ne it, I've it, never liked it no it's, it's like going to chipping saying can I have ste steak pudding and chips and then they go there oh, you can't oh, have it yeah, you know yeah. it's, it's just but, but saying that, my first ever one, it was amazing. And it was in uh, 1999 when there wasn't, it, we went to uh, Vegas. Okay. Where obviously we saw so that, I think it just started in London then, the lap dancing thing. But they didn't, didn't have any, we'd never yeah, been to yeah. any. Never been to Vegas before. First day, straight up, dropped the bags off. We're in the lap dancers, one o'clock. Um, there's nobody in except for, uh, I don't know, maybe. A lot of girls. There's one big black dude at the, at the bar. Yeah. There's, I think, seven of us. We're all there, like, you know, it's pitch, it's pitch black there. One o'clock in the day, we just go into this different world, aren't you? You're in that yeah, Vegas, yeah. You've no idea where you are. Swept well. to, you swept away yeah. with the skater. So, at the bar, uh, kind of a Budweiser, this guy, hey, where are you from, buddy? You, I, I was in the forces, didn't I? I love you guys. This fucking big black dude. And uh, he took to me straight away. He, yeah, he, yeah. Oh, I said, we've just got here. Uh, oh, how are you liking it? I said, never been to a lap dance before. He said, they go, no way. He couldn't believe it would know. I said, yeah, first time in America. Oh, we've only been here half an hour. He said, hey, buddy. I said, I'm going to get you the best lap dance you'll ever, ever have. I said, I'm paying. I'm thinking, oh, what's going on? I'm, I'm going to get scammed here straight away. You think it's a scam, don't you? It turns out you were, were brilliant. It weren't a scam. He paid for he paid for the lap dance and everything. So he's got this girl, obviously he knows. A classic uh, Barbie, um, what's she called? Pam Randerson. Yeah, like and, archetypal American. And you, so I told you the other day to look at the band called Tool. Okay, right? yeah, but I've not got around to this well, yet. Well, the only play one of my favourite songs, Sober, and it's a quite a lot, a lot, quite a long song, and they go off a song. So he's paid. So and this massive uh, leather thing like that. This she keeps her knickers on that because, to, but she's lap dancing me. Yeah. Oh, all my mates are there like going, I'm going. And then next minute I've got a stiffy and I've never, you know, I've never, all the, the strippers you're seeing and all that. I've never, it's just funny, isn't it? But in this case, I'm thinking, oh my you God. You know what? I, I had to apologise. She went, no, I'd be insulted if you didn't. I went, okay, yeah. I love watching them on the pole better than having a lap. It's, it, it's hypnotising. When, when they can, I when they can, when they can. I'm not really that much into I, it. it's, just, it's just me, like I'm a pervert. Yeah. But I, I, I just kind of like watching it. Me, like, I am. It's like spellbending, they can dance and I have to interject to this story now. This podcast is all about you. I have to tell you a story. Yeah, no, I won, yeah. I once won a lap dancing contest in front of Peter Stringfellow <laughs> on, uh, we've got to get this footage, Colin, onto, onto YouTube kind of thing, if, if, if we've got it. Uh, I, I was on a uh, reality oh, TV show called Living with Kimberly Stewart. And every yeah, I've week, seen the little bits of it. And every week we had these tasks and things. Oh, right, yeah. And they, they purred us all up. They purred me up with a gay Turkish lad called Yash. And I thought, you know, <laughs> there was some girls on the show who, who did lap dancing and things. I thought, you know what? We're just gonna have to take the piss here, yeah. Uh, so I'm just sliding down the top yeah. pole doing all this and just make. And Kimberly Stewart was the some bird of Peter Stringfellows and Stri and we won and we won a lap dancing contest. That's it. I just had to while we're on the subject. I just had to mention that kind oh, of thing. It's yeah, one, yeah. one of the yeah. weird things I've done in my life. But yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's an experience in it. You know? I've been up in uh, in Thailand. Uh, I actually I ended up working in this bar, not bar, a uh, go go bar. Amazon and Gogo. Okay. It was, oh, it was, it was one of them, it was a really, uh, how can I put it, a brutal kind of one. Anyway, the, the, one of the acts was this woman, she wasn't fit, but she'd come on and do a bit of a dance. The next minute, so it's called Amazon and Gogo. She drops a massive toad out of her uh, gash. Me? Really? Yeah. <laughs> and then a budgie, and then a budgie come, not, not even, not, uh, not a budgie, a parakeet. Fucking bit me, the, I, drew, I drew blood around her. Uh, Fucking hell. Anyway, so at one point, uh, so I've seen them do this, and some mates come around and went, right, right, come here, you're going to go, let's have a look at this uh, go go. And then, I know it's coming. So, and after that, I'm on stage with her, and I'm, I'm led there, letting her, letting her drop this 
toured on me on my face. Literally all the juices. That was the worst, but the juices come out first. Talk about frog and bucket. Fuck, yeah. you know. <laughs> but um, <laughs> are they into stuff yeah. like that over there, kind of thing? Like, no, that that was extreme. Was that like an? That, uh, that was before it. It, it, all, it all started getting stopped. All that. Yeah. This yeah, was like yeah. in early cruelty to frogs and all that. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. You know. But yeah, I ended up working in there uh, for a couple of weeks, I think, or something like that. You've lived a varied life. You've done. Yeah. A, I've, I've seen bits of on, on the talking on, on live streams and things like that. You've done quite a lot in your life, haven't you? You've travelled the world. Yeah. I mean, that occasion, he, uh, it was a, a guy from Newcastle, actually, who owned a few go-go bars down. This was called Walking Street or Wanking Street, we call it. And um, some ties had gone in with some guns and said, uh, right, give us so much. We're coming back on Friday. If you don't pay us, we're going to fucking shoot the place up. So he's telling us this, and uh, he says, uh, me and my other mate, Clyde, uh, oh, I can't say his name. <laughs> I've got fucking... Beep. No, I can do it, because I, I can say Clive's name, because he's uh, not in it at all. Uh, but he's a big brute. He says, I just want a couple of ugly-looking faces hanging around, so they think, he says, if it kicks off, he says, don't be doing anything. He says, just, if anything, get out the door. Well, don't worry about that. He says, yeah, yeah. well, the paid is like... A what would you do in dorm and a bear work? Not even that. He was just showing a face. Okay. What presence, he called it. Okay. All lads took piss out of us saying, oh, they are the presence boys. Well, you have a suit on and you stand around. No, no, just normal. You don't wear suits there. Okay. Just, but he just wants us hanging around. We took the stay from 10 o'clock till 2 o'clock at night. Free beer. He said, free beer, free girl, anything you want. Uh, just hang around here every night. Then he gives like 10,000 baht uh, at the end of the week. What is that in the English I get like 200 quid or something is it? Yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but it goes we, further over there, doesn't it? Yeah, we were it? both skinned. We're on the end, tail end of uh, <laughs> Jollies. They were like, oh, this will do. But yeah, that was there. That's how we ended up there. So was it was the best place you've been in, in the world? What, uh, what's your favourite country? It's very hard to say, in it? There's, there's different... Uh, I guess I do like Thailand more than anywhere. Yeah. Especially more away from, away from the cities as well now. As I've got more older, I'm not asked about all the shagging and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy like, uh, yeah, the rural parts, and uh, I can speak half decent time. I'm not far from fluent, but I can get get by with it. Yeah. And I just like the style, the way they are, and like, I only came back from Cambodia in this in February. I was there 18 months, and there's like complete. That's island life. It's like nothing like any island life is so different. You, it's not the same as, do you know what I mean? There's, you can't say Cambodia, it's not, it, it's island style. Okay. And because where we are, um, especially where we were, it's very hard to get to. Very little Wi Fi, um, very little electric. It only yeah, comes on yeah. at night yeah, on a yeah. generator. Okay. Uh, water was always off. And, and, and in rainy season, it was night, it was almost like being in prison. You You're in these shitty it. little bungalows, it was pissing down everywhere. And like that, going, well, pff, with a light, you know, reading books. Is that kind like, of all right like that. All you can do kind of thing. There's no, it can rain for days. Uh, how do you travel in the world? How does it compare to living in this country? Is it, too, is it stressful living here compared to uh, the rest of these kind of parts of the world? Um, I, I, it's just more real in it, <laughs> being back home. Yeah. I mean, this year is just bizarre, isn't it? You can't, none of us can even Shit, get, a, get a red round this year. No. It's so, it's so different to what other years are. What My pattern over the last, probably after Japan, or even maybe before it as much, I'm not sure, but I'd also, because I uh, I play a lot of poker. Yeah. I've always like got a bit of a win, not a massive win. I had enough to get a flight and go away for a certain period of time. Because of my artwork, or with Cambodia, I can go over and play poker there. When so eighteen months ago, before when I initially went to go Cambodia, uh, Thailand, just for uh, a few weeks holiday, went for a few uh, weeks. I think I had uh, maybe maybe eight grand. Okay. After a month or so, and then I, w I went to uh, Cambodia to do my um, visa and stuff. I end up playing poker again. What I'd spent in that month, I'd won it all back within a couple of weeks, not even right. that. So, I, and also I had a really bad flight coming to Thailand. I was on them big 380s. I'll cut a long story short here, oh, but okay. basically right, you're coming down after being up there for an hour and the, the, everybody's shitting themselves. We go, we're just about to land. You can see the fucking uh, cars, pff, red lights on, woo, woo, back up pff, into this storm. Oh my God. I tell you what, I know what my last words are going to be. It's fuck. I listen when I'm like, fuck! You know what? 
Oh, I'm, I'm a bit. I'm fucking weird, me. When I'm on a plane, I always think, I hope it crashes. Do you? <laughs> I, think, I think weird shit. Fucking like, hell, I, I don't. I'm a bit fucking mental. Like I've, that, I've just got worse and worse. You know. And because I didn't have a return flight, I was listening to that going, well, oh, there's no rush to go back on the plane. Yeah. And when eventually come back this year, February, no, there's only storms in there. My sister messaged me. So I haven't told everybody really that I'm shitting myself. Yeah, yeah. My sister, oh my God, you've picked the wrong time to... Oh, no, why have you just told me that? Why have you told me that? And then I've got on the plane. It's pretty empty. Air hostess is at the back. I thought, this is good. A few seats to myself. She's going, oh my, oh my God. I think, um, we might have to go and land in Frankfurt because it, Manchester's too windy. And... Bl- oh. God, so I'm thinking yeah. this isn't, oh. and so they were a bit worried. I could listen, I could hear what they're saying. I'm trying to not listen. At the same time, I'm thinking, oh, this is bad timing, but it weren't too bad, you know. No. We must have timed it good. It, so it was uh, uh, February the 10th, I think. Oh, but anyway, and the day I landed, the house that my mate and I stay at, she'd flooded as well. So I've gone right into the house, it's flooded out. The, the oh. day I land. Okay. Flood, plague, and fire. We had a massive fire at the back of the house. We, my nephew uh, lives next door. We had a bit of a barbecue, right? Okay. In the first lockdown, he only set fire to all the trees. Like, like ambulances come. <laughs> it was pretty bad, yeah. <laughs> so floods, fucking uh, fires, and uh, You've plagues. Got to, got to all it the way now. I feel like I've done it all. It comes in threes, is it? You know. Yeah, that's what somebody said. Well, that's three. You, you, hopefully, you're clear now for a while. So. Where's the first place, next place you're going to go after? All? If oh, this end, if, I don't God. know. Is I fancy going to South America. Is there, fucking an, is there an end to all this Is shit? there an end to it? You know, um, and then the, you have to pay a £150 <sighs> COVID test on top of your, your your expenses kind of thing to fly, you know. Oh this my kind God. Of, I, don't I don't know if that's, is that, is that either end of the, the, the I um I don't know. I haven't looked into it that much. I, I'm trying not to bother with it all. Yeah, I try yeah. not to watch, I mean, my mate watches the news, but me, I wouldn't. Bullshit, in it. I said to my mate Jason, when we're in, in the Philippines, when it all kick, when it's so in February, I says, I'll tell you now the cure for it. Switch that fucking yeah, TV yeah. off. This was before anything yeah, had kicked yeah, off. Yeah. I said, I'll tell you now, th- this time, more than ever, I said, everybody will be panicking like fuck because of the fucking uh, social media. Yeah. And the use, the, the access we all have now to go uh, for blame. That's why, blame, it's that cunt, is this cunt? I don't want fucking yeah, me, I wonder. Yeah, yeah. Don't let's be safe because I don't want to be the fucking cunt. Yeah, yeah. I, I massively think it's all to do with that. I don't think it would happen in the 70s or 80s. No. I, 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 this is, if there had been a flu going around, a bad flu, which was, it's definitely killing people because I have, like I say, yeah, I bad news it. today. I, the, today is the first day that I've known somebody that's died from it. Yeah, yeah. But that's in a year. I've been to three funerals this year. Was it an elderly person? Elderly, yeah. Yeah, on top of other ailments. I, right? I don't know. I don't know how she was. Uh, I'd say she, she was a reasonably a fit woman. Yeah, yeah. Not a smoker, but she was in her late 70s, I think. Yeah, yeah. Mid to late 70s. At first, I was a denier of it, but I do believe there is something. Uh, I, I believe it. I, I also mm. believe it's been used I, as a Trojan arse for a few things, like getting rid, they want rid of cash. You know, they want us all vaccinated. I believe. I believe that I, I am going to fucking clue me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the more you look into it, the more I get confused. Yeah, yeah. There's always two sides to every story. Of course. And so a big part of me wants to be more on the safe side, like with the masks and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. I would rather on the safe side just put a fucking mask on because in some ways that I know like working in the building side yeah. if you get dusty stop shit going in you put a mask on yeah, yeah, yeah. so whether it works or not I I don't feel like it's taking anything away from me like as in a, yeah. you have to wear a mask uh, everybody wear a mask or wear, I don't feel like it's, it's just put a, put a mask on if it might help because yeah. we don't fully know it's just safe and sorry but it's the point of like you you can put, you can find somewhere one doctor saying, uh, "Listen, guys, the, do- the hospitals are full. People are dying. Please take this serious. Yeah. Don't, don't do that." And it's like, and you're suddenly going, "Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to give it to somebody. I don't." Mm. And then you get another doctor, uh, and a proper doctor going, "Well, it's bullshit. Yeah. I've got this secret corner." No, you can find two sides to every story, yeah. and they're all as believable as each other. And that's why I'm in the fucking switch off and just hope I don't get it. Try and be safe and just avoid people. I like avoiding people anyway because people yeah. get on me fucking tits in Absolutely. general. Absolutely. You know, I'd, uh, I'd already got to the, before all this, thing, oh, fucking people are knobs, aren't they? Yeah. 
It's it's getting a bit boring though. I mean, know what go, I mean, know what going. This kind second of thing, one, you know, it's fucking brought me. It's not brought me, but it. The first one, I quite enjoyed it because I've been away for so long. Yeah, it was nice yeah. to have a break from drinking and partying. Yeah, yeah. And then the, it was a beautiful um, spring. And just at the back of us, there's a river. And a few of mates, we started meeting up and getting a campfire going. And we were getting pissed down. We were like being kids. Yeah, we, were, yeah. we were right, good laugh. Yeah, yeah. Really enjoyed it. Um, but this one, with the weather being shit and uh, Grim, yeah. we're not having too many secret meetings, really. And we, we just don't have that social distance secret piss ups of what we did do. Fair play to you. you know, yeah. But um so touching back on Japan, what was it like yeah. in Japan? What was the culture like in Japan? Really nice. So yeah. I'd love to go back there. I'm re I'm good to can't go back there again. So are you are you like the band from Japan? Yeah, then? band, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The first time I seen a woman and she was fit as well, a Venezuelan uh, interpreter from the um what they called the uh whoever they had to come basically sign Saying I weren't allowed back in the country. And, oh, okay. Um, what are they called? Whoever they, whatever the fucking call. Anyway, so she's there. She's gorgeous. You know the. Um, yeah, yeah. Absolutely stunning, but she wouldn't, wouldn't even speak to me. No, but, he, he's a criminal. Uh, yeah, yeah one, right, once right. it were like, uh, say, like the I had a chance to say, like, where, where are you from? She went Venezuela originally. I'm like, oh yeah, this is oh, but so I've always wanted to go back. I mean, I've always wanted to go Venezuela. Yeah, yeah. And I always love Venezuelan girls because they always used to win Miss World. You know, oh, when we okay, were kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Bruce Forsyth's wife was the gorgeous, gorgeous people. I've looked into going there, Margarita Island. Oh yeah. It looks really it looks cool. But anyway, so I'm uh, not not really sports work, especially a fit woman for two years at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Almost two years and she's just basically going, Shut up, dickhead. Just yeah, sign that. Yeah, Let's get me out of here. I'm thinking, yeah, Fair of course. Point. Like, look for it. Like, there's any chance of, you know she's going to toss me off while they're not looking. You never know. <laughs> you never know, really, kind of thing. No, These I, things happen, I believe. I, I tell you what, I do. I soon got used to no sex or anything like that, and the drinking. All that stuff didn't bother me. Honestly, uh, a good brew is the one thing I missed in yeah. the morning. I thought, let's give me a proper brew. Fry up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I was fucking starving, starving all the time. You, they only fed you bits of rice and shit, didn't they? No, it was di different. Me, it, it was good. De decent but uh really tasty yeah which but made, it made it worse uh, we, i bet you was healthy as fuck though when you come yeah out, I, was, I was fit as fuck yeah. like that um was it, uh 75 kg from i think, I think what's that in stone I'm, I'm i'm very old fashioned old school um right? 11 and a half stone oh, okay from from being like 15 15 and a half stone like similar to what i am now probably not i'm probably more fatter now um because obviously it's like 10 yeah, years yeah. ago isn't it I, yeah. I turned 40 um after a few weeks being there. Really? Yeah. My best mate, actually, because he knows, he knows I'm a wind-up fucker. He thought it was a joke all the way along. He said, until my 40th birthday, he thought I was going to bob up and go, ha, ha, ha. if we're 40, if I've come back, I can't believe you fell for the... As if I'm going to be in prison in Japan, you stupid twat. Well, I thought, he was a, I thought he was only a young lad when he was in Japan and on prison. Am I wrong in thinking no, that? Me? Yeah, no, yeah. So I turned 40. I'm oh, 52 now. Okay. So I thought he was about in your 20s in Japan. Am I wrong on that? Yeah, no, yeah. no, I was uh, I thought 39. My birthday said. Um, I got arrested 28th of October 2008. My birthday is December the 5th. So, what, so, how long did you do a long time? Um, almost two years. Two years, yeah. yeah, yeah. A year and a half or something, something like that back in England. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, um, do you want me, I'll, I'll read this out yeah, for you, right? Have a, have a, have a... Right. Fucking, I'm going glass of bad think. Yeah, you can just have bad me. Uh, you, it's, it'll be like a chord. So every day, and I wrote this. Um, what's the date there? I can't see it. Fucking hell. Can you see uh, that? 15th of the 9th, 8th. Yeah. Is that saying right? So, yeah, 15th of the 9th. So the 9th is. Uh, I got arrested. Fucking hell, wait a minute. 28th of October, uh, 2008. So I've wrote this. Two weeks after or something. Right. Is, that, is that right now? Well, it, it was very, really, very soon. I know it was definitely within, I felt like within a few days, but it's two weeks probably or so. Anyway, this is, what I, this is what I have to say to myself every fucking day. Like affirmations in a way. Right, the Bible according to Steve Beatty. Everything's going to get better. It's only up and up from now. Every second, minute, day, week, may seem like a long time but it's time that's going to go my way the experience will make me a better person use this time to my advantage be strong 
make a new life. It's not as, oh, I, hate, I hate this fucking bit. It's not as bad as a broken heart and uh, boy do I know that. Um, but I do know that uh, freedom and the rest of my life and I will be forever grateful. We're a long time dead, so enjoy every second we are when, uh, when we're alive. When I'm an old and stuck in a chair, waiting to die, I'll think back to these days and I'll wish I was here. I just think that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I get that. Um, sad, but true. My future is full of great things I have to come. So much more fun and good times to come in my life. And many people have nothing to come. I, I have everything. So I think positive. Um, but... Uh, but myself and millions of people are far, far worse than me. People that are uh, ill, sick, paralysed, spastic, <laughs> uh, uh, and, uh, and through no, no, no fault of their own. The poor living in shit in the streets, because I've seen them, thousands of them. Me, I get uh, fed, it's safe. Not too hot, not too cold. At this point, there's heating. Yeah. I, didn't know, I didn't know the cold was fucking coming. Uh, the truth is boredom and restriction uh, are the only enemy. But I can read, write, draw, exercise when I want. See, this is in the police station when you're not in oh, the proper... Okay. This is pre-proper fucking prison. Um, uh, Well-mannered and polite. Uh, this, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, everyone is well-mannered and polite. I could have got caught in India. Now that would have been hell, pure hell. But I'm not, I'm not blind, deaf, maybe, dumb. Some people have no face because uh, of burns, uh, dying of cancer. I've stopped smoking. This, um, this may have even saved my life. Things will be good, never be the same, and, and in a good way. I have another chance at life. I'm the lucky one. Uh, I can't even say that. I'm not my kids. Like I'm a bit emotional then. All right, all right. Yeah, you can yeah, cry yeah. on the show if you want me. You <laughs> yeah, I did you it. Want, you know. I, I almost forget what I've wrote, but you know, with the kids thing, yeah, then, yeah. then it says progress. So I'd say that every day. Do you still do it? To, what, no, 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 that's like I can't remember though, these, it. I've almost forgot it. I wish I'd read it again first. Do you know what? These words actually fit to everybody now because we're all yeah, yeah. kind of. We're all in a way in kind of... In a this is as similar, prison. this is similar as anyone could get as to feel like what it's like to be in prison. It's like we're in a posh prison. Yeah, it's yeah. a restriction. Open prison. One of the, yeah, it is like an open prison. It's very similar to an open... That's, yeah, well said that. That is, that is what Kirkham was like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even more so. I, I was on the piss more in Kirkham. Like every month, I'd go out with my mates for a weekend. They'd be pissed at me. They were fucking... Uh, by the time, I'd be, I'd be happy to get back. Yeah, yeah, I'd be yeah. proper happy to get back. Was that for smuggling it? What, what was you doing in Kirk and Prison? This is all the oh, end of this. Oh, right, yeah. I got uh, moved to uh, Wandsworth, then the Mount, a little a little small time in Leicester, then to Risley, and eventually the almost a full year in uh, Kirkham. So that you did, it. it wasn't like you completed your whole sentence in Japan, they just no. said, right, we'll send him back to England now, and we'll finish off over there. Do you know what? <laughs> A massive part of it, especially early on, we're all in there, we're all in the same boat, all these different countries and that. We're all, we don't know how long we're going to set, send, uh, spend in Japan. It's, there's loads of different rumours. And this was another reason why I wanted to go on uh, Sean's big channel. So people, if I can get out to the family to explain the system, because all my family and friends, they didn't know we had a fucking clue what was going on. Yeah, yeah. And it's still very hard to find out. So I thought if I... And I have done a family. I've got. I've been in touch with a family since, and I've helped them out. Okay. So I did. Uh, it, it already feels justified doing it. But yeah. So um, what it right? So I get. Let's just say it's five years. Okay. I do two years there. Okay. From the moment I land in England, I've got three years left. Then you go into the English system, and I'll do half of that. Yeah. Yeah. You, you get halved. Yeah. So basically, the sooner you get back to England, the better it is. If I do three years there, then I've got two years left in England. Yeah. Then I'm only about like one year off. I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So like, I, felt, I think it was, I forget what the percentage was, because I met another English guy that was part of my thing, and I seen him was really broken. And we were sat in this hospital thing, I was trying to explain to him 
when he was going to fuck off because I think he had nine or ten years. Okay. So yeah, I was trying same to same as you, just drugs. Uh, it is was crystal meth. Okay. But it was kind of part of our uh, yeah. team. But I did. It was. A, it's a separate thing. It's one of the reasons I got caught. Not him, but all this shit that went on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. It, it, and I've never, I've never blamed anybody no. for all the shit because it, 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 it's all part of it. Yeah. The whatever the reason is, it's it was up to me to go and do it, and whether how it goes tits up is how it goes tits up, isn't it? Yeah, whether you yeah. the, whether they found in your bag or somebody's grasped or somehow whatever's gone on, it's all part of it, isn't it? Yeah, it's all yeah. part of the getting caught shit. Do you think that? Do you think the? I've seen Sean Atwood talking about American jails, how tough they are. Yeah. And the Japanese system was obviously tough. Do you different think that tough, they're different. more... Do you think that the prisons are more likely to make people not offend again yeah. than, over, do, yeah. than, than over they're here? By far the best in the world. But well, over, over here, what, what did you say? It's a walk in the park to be in jail in England. It's a walk it? in the park. The what, what thing, what does people's heads in if they've got uh, girlfriends and wives? Yeah, all yeah. that kind of stuff. That's when it really breaks them. But if you haven't got really got a... Yeah, it's an absolute doddle. Especially yeah. most of the fucking morons that are in there. Really, I, I used to call the Jeremy McCall when I'm in. Okay, it's fucking yeah. Muppets up and down. Yeah, yeah, how's it going? Fucking they, they think it's a badge of honour to be in jail. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like they, they're an they, achievement. They, they buzz off and say, you know, like, what are you mean for? I go, I'm padded uh, up. I've been, I've there, been yeah. up. I'd, I'd go like, I'd say I'm a drug mule. I'd go, what? Like a fucking drug mule. I, I wouldn't say like I'm a drug smuggler. Yeah, I'd listen to yeah. so I'm an idiot, I'm a dick. Because, you know, it's a bit of a derogative, isn't it, kind of sense. So I'd go straight to him, oh, I'm a drug mill, I got caught in Japan. And they'd go, oh, yeah. And then, like, how long did you get? Like, yeah. You know, they'd be, but the longer you get, the longer the sentence, the better it is, you're RDR. Yeah, yeah. Fucking moron. A lot of them in for stupid things. Yeah, all like, like, like fucking hitting, hitting the mates well, and all this. Yeah, uh, nicking cars. And, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I bet some good lads as well. I'm talking about the... I really did meet some uh, decent lads in there, not, but the vast majority is Dickens. morons. Yeah. Fucking hard work. Yeah. I, I, it's a miracle. I never fucking scrapped with any con. Are the miracle. prisons over here all mostly private now? And it's like G4. They're not, they're, not they're, sure. They're, they're, I'm, I'm thinking I you don't. Had old screws used to be military, ex military, didn't they? Like, like, I, think. I felt yeah. sorry for the screws. Yeah, yeah. Right, because I got on with. I got on with Firstly, nearly everybody. I didn't give a fuck with them. A screw, a fucking, whatever they were. Um, a prisoner. If they were, I'd, I'd go with a, a good crap kind of banter style. If they were a dick, I'd just try to ignore them. Same with screws or anything. But generally, if you're, if you've got the right attitude about it, how you doing, mate? Morning. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. Everybody's fine. Yeah, yeah. There, there's no need for a uh, attitude. It's, next minute, if you've got an attitude with them, then they're going to have an attitude with you. Course, everybody, yeah. everybody just wants to get on with it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really bother with them as in, I just, you know, I was just pleasant. Yeah. So <sighs> where, where was your, where was the first prison you came in over here? Wandsworth. Wandsworth. So I, I was buzzing, man, Wandsworth. Was it good, was it good though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, it's because of the extremeness. Yeah, yeah. But also, right, I couldn't, I, I was going to say on Sean's thing, but I couldn't do it because I, I didn't see a doctor for uh, five days. I was on Valium for almost two years in Japan. What was you? They give you Valium fucking... Really? Yeah. 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 Uh, three, uh, ten mils a day. And uh, yeah, so when I landed in England, I didn't see a doctor for five fucking days. So you're coming off Valium, it's... Uh, like, like, it's like, it's like yeah. a bit of a come down. Isn't they it? actually said to me, "Say, have you not been having fits? Where have I, they eventually sent a doctor. And this lad, Jason, I was with, uh, helped me out. <coughs> yeah, I can say his name, pretty sure I can, yeah. But I was luckily I got padded up with a lad from Manchester uh, through this uh, different case. But he was like, uh, never been to prison before. And uh, he wasn't like a typical mank, you know, no offence. You know, he wasn't like one of them. He was like Aye. a normal lad, yeah. No, if you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, you know, he, he was, as soon as we're in this room... You know, like you look at all people in the room, you really think, oh, right, he seems all right. All right, mate, he's all right, yeah. Where are you from, like, uh, Manchester, like? So he's just come from the court. I've just come from fucking Japan. He just, he's got sentenced to four years. But he, he went straight in the decap because it was some soft white collar crimes thing. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we were both clocked on. Said, well, yeah, I'm from uh, Blackburn. So well, yeah, I actually lived in Burnley. So we, and uh, he says, yeah, I've just uh, just come from the court. I'm like, I said, I've just come from Japan. He went, oh, God, yeah, I'm like, yeah. He says, uh, anyway, we're both looking around. He says, uh, if we can, should we try and share a cell together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can pick who you want to be well, with. I, I guess yeah, so. I so you can so picture us in a room now. Oh, okay. You just come from court. Oh, I yeah. just come from Japan. We're in Wandsworth. And yeah, this room yeah. like this, we're going, 
Oh, what's cracking? Oh, All right. What do you reckon? Here? I thought oh, it was right. right. You were in with him. You're no, no. Uh, so when we, as we got moved in, I think we said to one of the screws, "Can I say, are we okay being?" Because they said, you know, like didn't even know if we were going to be single cells. I didn't know anything. I think they might have said. I can't remember. We, but we knew somehow that let's fucking stay together. Yeah. So yeah. like, so I was with him for the first few weeks. Right. Then, then I was with a fucking knobhead, a young lad off his head on fucking somewhere, taking all sorts of pills. Yeah, yeah. He ended up smashing the cell up at one point. Can you like say, I don't want to be selling anymore, you prick. Can you say yeah. anything like that? Well, yeah. it, no, it got to the, uh, the beginning, when uh, this Jason left, they bring this young lad in, I said, mate, I was a, a strict non-smoker at this point as well. I was still doing all my exercises in the gym, the shadow boxing, yeah, all that yeah, kind yeah. of shit. I was, I was still quite into the fitness. And the uh, next minute they're bringing him, he's a smoker. I went, oh, man, I said, no offence, like, he says, but he's a smoker, I'm not a smoker. He went, well, just give it a, we'll, we'll sort something out. And the next minute the door's shut. And uh, I said, hey, you can, if you don't, you can smoke out a window, mate. I don't want to be like a dick, but, you know, because I know what it's like being a smoker, yeah, yeah. you know. I don't want to be a dick, but. So next minute, yeah, he went from there to his next week, just fucking smoked like that going. And yeah. he was just a fucking tool. Yeah. And uh, he were on his tablets, whatever, and. Before you know, he's smashing the fucking cell up, and I'm on top bunk like that, ready for the fucking open one in the head. Yeah, yeah. He, he wasn't really having one of me. He just he just lost the fucking plot. Yeah, yeah. Smashing the place up. They're all smashing the place up. Yeah. If you can, all you can do is bang, bang, bang. People coming down off drugs when it in Wandsworth. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And literally, so before I met Jason, I've got maybe I was the first to go in this room. Um, so you, you do a bit of a, a, a check thing, whatever. Then the next one, you're in this room. And I'm, I remember, I'm just fucking kind of like, oh, I feel free as fuck. This, like, a Russian type or a, maybe a Polish comes straight in, like that, what comes coming straight up to me, <clears throat> spat on the fucking floor like that, and I'm sat down and swear like that. I thought, fucking hell, there we go, straight away. We're fucking on it. You're for fighting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's literally came up to me, spat on the fucking floor, and then took, and I spun round. So I kind of went like that. He's, he's like, go up and walk. I thought, fucking hell. No, no, I don't think it was any of that. I think he's just gone in there. He's fucking, he's fell out with somebody, or you know, whatever's yeah, yeah. gone on. Yeah. He's in this room, he's gone fucking. Hell. Well, he's wanting to twat somebody else or whatever. He yeah. wasn't a big lad, but he's like a, he yeah, like a yeah. loon, yeah, like yeah. a Russian loon. Could do a bit like. I don't know if he could do a bit, but he looked like I said, fucking dangerous. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't even have time to stand up. Just went like that. Fuck it off. And he's like turning around thinking, Jesus Christ. I oh, I kind of thought it was funny. I, I expected it to be like that. Yeah. Maybe not like that. Yeah, a lot more uh, core. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I thought there'd be people trying to uh, try on me a bit more. But maybe they, they might have thought I was a fucking lunatic walking yeah, around yeah. with a big smile on my face. Yeah, yeah. Look at this fucking day. Why is he so happy? He's just been sat there. I've been in Japan for... Uh, and then they'd all, they'd all find it a bit uh, like, really? What's it like in Japan? It's an interesting, isn't it? Yeah, Especially yeah. if you're used to being in prisons. Yeah. So that, straight away, I'm having a bit of banter with them uh, about it. And, ah, it's a nice fucking cunt's been in Japan. Yeah, yeah. That novelty yeah. value, you have that novelty value. Yeah, it's, like, it's a novelty, it is that. Rather that, than so. just want to kick off, they say, well, yeah. tell us about Japan. I am. Um, so on the yard, me and Jason were running around, right? It was, it was nice, sunny. Uh, July we landed same bit land on the moon 20th of July right that you know so anyway in the yard you've got uh, people's walking around it's like it's really hot and lovely you've got big gangs of these big black lads you know we all top stuff and it was proper fucking Linford Christie's and they're all doing run they're running right so also I'm fast as fuck mate for uh, even though I'm like 41 at this stage I'm relative I was like always the fastest runner at school everywhere fucking and um so I'm thinking, I'm going to join in. I said, yes, I'm going to join in. But the race over there, he went, don't, don't get involved with all, all that fucking shit. I said, they're only having a bit of fun. I said, but it was obviously purely black lads. But it didn't seem like in a, you can't fucking, because they're all fucking good at running. Yeah, yeah. And they're all like they're having a bit of a laugh. I goes over, I said, uh, I said, can I join in for, for, a, for, a, for a race? For a cry? They went, yeah, yeah, of course you can. Ready, one, two, three. And I didn't come last. I didn't. I was never going to win, but I didn't come last. Yeah, yeah. And all give the high fives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I've not run for ages. You know, I said, I've just come from Japan. Right. Like, well, <laughs> Who's this fucking crazy yeah, guy they, here? Yeah, they do start but, uh, but yeah, they were fine. They were all good. Next minute, yeah. you know, hey, bro, bro, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, I made friends pr pretty easy. Have you kept any in contact with anybody from the inside? One. Yeah. Paul and uh, another black lad from Cameroon. I'll I tell you his story, right? Yeah. He's a lovely lad. He, honestly. You want to smoke? Uh, you don't smoke, no, do you? Am I, 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 I right having a pee break? Uh, yeah, are you we'll, all have right with that? we'll have a brew. We'll have a brew and a pee, which yeah. kind of contradicts each yeah. other, but I will see you back in a minute.
Hello, welcome to part two. Um, I'm here with the uh, amazing Mr. Stephen Beatty, and I'd like to thank him. He has drawn me this oh, yeah. lovely picture. And is it showing up, Colin? Is it reflecting? Is it all right, that? Um, a very nice picture. It'll be, it'll be going on my wall. Um, it's nice to have original art on the wall. I'll give you one of my books. Cheers, yeah, man. A blankety yeah. blank check book and pen. And yeah. We were talking then about um, mental attitudes and yeah. things and uh, belief systems and things like that. Um, mm. To be incarcerated in jail in, in a, a really host, a, a low, on, basically on, on your own in, in an austere system. What what is the daily routine of your mental? What what is your thoughts processes um, with that? I find it's massive. Like like what, what I read out before. You've got to be positive. You've got to fight that negativity. Because you see the people, I think I've seen it more in the English system, people are more negative and broke. They're so down. I think it's that extreme in Japan that you have to, there's no choice because you're being marched everywhere. And the way it is, it's very, you've no fucking choice. Where in England, it's all fucking down and uh, I got stitched up and this cunt fucking, it wasn't me, I didn't do it. They're all fucking wankers. It's that, they're so fucking down. Not all of them, obviously, but it, it just has a down uh, vibe about it. And the, the the more you should just fucking hold your hand up, you go, yep, did it, got caught, I'm a fucking dick. Crack on with it. And, yeah, mental... Uh, and why uh, people go to re religion a lot. I, I get it, I totally get it. I, I did, and it didn't... It didn't... Uh, but I can get why people have that inner belief that they're here for a reason, and they're fucked up in life, and uh, I'm sorry, God, I hope you forgive me, and I'm going to... It makes sense, to, you know, that it's for a reason. I don't always, I don't think it's for a reason. It's just life is life. Yeah. I think so. I, again, I don't know. Do you think the, Jap the Japanese that. people and the Japanese culture is more spiritual? Because you have a lot of Zen in Japan. No, not Japan, no. no not, are, they, are, they, are, they, are they not that spiritual? Like, are not you, like Thais or Filipinos, uh, Cambodians. So they wouldn't use a lot of Zen kind of, uh, uh, the prisoners would be like fucking... Were here. They wouldn't be like zenning out and no, meditating it, and shit. The only time I, I, I there was a lad called Roy. I'm not sure if he was Chinese or or Japanese, but he got caught something like uh, something to do with uh, buying a watch on on the on the plane, and the credit card went funny. So like something in nothing. Yeah, yeah. But so he's in there. You got time for that buying a watch? Hey, <laughs> sorry, I mean, yeah. that was a joke out of the way. Yeah, not bad, yeah. So, so he's in there like for something up, but he was teaching us. So we could all speak at the back of these cells like that. All right, mate. Uh, uh, and this Roy go, uh, Roy, are we going to do a, a spirit? A yet, a, what's it called? Uh, the, in the out. Uh, tai Chi. Tai Chi, yeah. Oh, okay. So he's teaching this Tai Chi. He's actually saying, he says, we can't do it that good here because of the, the bad air and everything. Was he like but, a feng shui man? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So he's a, a really nice guy. And like I say, well, I, we all knew that lucky bastard. He's only, he'll be out in, and he was, he wasn't in there long. But yeah, so he, he kind of taught us that. And actually, so I will tell you this story because when I first moved into Chiba, I was always, I've been told how it was going to be and stuff, but I haven't really uh, faced it. And my friend says, what they'll do is when they search you, you, you have to take all your claws off. And then he says, you, you will have to bend over. I said, they will look up your ass. Like, I'm like, oh, fuck you now. But what you know, it is what it is, isn't it? I gets in there. You put, get put in these little rooms. So Roy, uh, Roy had already gone to Chiba, and he was on the way home. He'd done it. He's the, whatever the court case had done. He's on the way out to get his claws. As I'm going in, changing the claws into yeah, yeah. the back thing. I goes in there. Roy comes in the room. I, I seen his face. He's listening like that fucking look like he'd been twatted or whatever had happened i went hi roy how, how did it go maybe not as loud as that i went hi roy are you, are you? And, it, and he just went like that and the, the screw went shut the fuck up well you didn't speak don't you ever you know, what, i'm presumably saying that they're absolutely screaming at me and this fucking roy's like that going don't fucking please i'm on the way out don't fuck it up for me you kind of thing. Got time for i that. guess that's what he's thinking i'm just going all right so sorry sorry uh i think right okay. and that's when you just landed there no this was after the time, the police station, relative freeness, talking away, yeah, yeah. going into the, the first detention che centre. Chiba was, Chiba. Chiba was one of the strict places. Chiba was more strict than Fuchu. Oh, 
Okay. Whereas I, I, we was told that Chiba was going to be pretty good. You're in a room with a few people. Uh, there's a radio on. Uh, the food's good. And the food was good. It was the only thing that was true. But basically, nobody knew. Nobody had been in there before. But they're all rumours. Do you get from the dog Japanese people that know shit? So you not allowed to, You wasn't allowed to speak uh, speak no, with each other. It that was, was silent. It. The prison was silent. Silent, absolute silent. Yeah, okay. weirdly silent. That must. How did that? How did you cope with that? Uh, then first three days was absolute hell. It was so cold. I'll, ne I'll never forget it. I was, it was bad. On purpose to punish you? That you think no, it's just that's what that's how it is. That's where the, where the whole thing is. Actually, um, no, this is going to be another emotional fucking thing because it was that bad. I well. love you, but it gets. Uh, I love you, but that'll probably make you cry even more. No, no. we can't. We're not allowed to walk to me. Oh, we are here. This, no, is, this is a different principality. Right, so. I, after the, I got my clothes back at this point, because I've not been sentenced. I think it's a, you've got a ten day period for you to uh, what's it called? Fucking uh, uh, say, for example, no, I'm. I mean, all right, to, appeal, uh, appeal. Yeah, you've got that appeal period. That's why you go to the detention centre. So they give you clothes back. So you're not fully sentenced there. I get all my clothes back, and so I, I was with my girlfriend at the time. Even though we're at the point of breaking up anyway, I was kind of glad in some ways. Sorry if you listen, but you know what I mean. It it, it weren't like for me. It weren't like oh my god. It was almost like you know, that. That's, it's nice that's, laws, you know. Yeah, because she always said to me, so "I'll never wait for you." She didn't want me doing it. She said, if you get caught, I'll, I'll never wait for you. I said, oh, "Don't worry, I don't want you to fucking wait," you know all that kind of thing. So when anyway, but I still very fond of her. She, I'm still friends with her now. I was a really nice girl, fucking nuts, but a nice, honest girl. Anyway. I, she used to put a hot pants in my fucking luggage, right? Just think she'd say, I'll put it just in case any girls see them. Like, Who's going to fucking... Yeah, you know, these yeah. jealous types. So anyway, I had these uh, hot pants, right? Gets the clothes back and, you know, somebody has a smell. She had a fucking smell. I used to call her a silverback, actually, because she was... Anyway, once, but I used to call her the silverback and, and Yeti. She had big feet. Everybody thought she was a lady boy. She wasn't. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't. Bad. So anyway, um, so I get uh, these hot pants, uh, jeans... And I smell, and I don't know whether they've been cleaned or something, but the smell had gone. And she was quite suicidal beforehand. She nearly cut her hand off. She was, hell. With a steak knife, nearly cut her hand Fucking off. Hell. Like a nine hour operation, putting it back together in, in hospital for ages over it. And so this was like a few, good few weeks before anyway. So she was very volatile. This because you've been done? Uh, no, no, this was, no, this was because she's fucking nuts. Okay. And this is one of the reasons why I, you know, yeah, he was a glad for being in yeah. jail. It was literally all the something and nothing. Yeah. She just ends up nearly killing herself because she's a fucking nutter. Um, so anyway, what after these few days in the cold and isolation, I'm getting my clothes back and I smell it and I just think that she's killed herself. You know, I feel it. You're like, yeah, you took that as a sign. Oh, yeah. It was bad. I just thought, oh my God, what have I done? So that, that was probably one of the worst times. I was really like absolutely broken. Yeah. So anyway, like eventually got over it, obviously, and uh, and I, I got a letter saying, no, she's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she actually ended up with a fucking millionaire. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, uh, she went. She went to went to England with this uh, multi millionaire, like not just a millionaire, like a next next level millionaire. She said, and she's just a fucker. She is. She was there for a few months. She said, was shit. We were bored. She went to all these uh, fancy places and all that. So I couldn't be bothered with it. I just went home. So they, so he was all right. It was nice enough guy and all that. Obviously, he was rich, but thought, it's not for me this shit. And she just fucked off. Yeah. I said, I bet you didn't get any money from me. He said, No, no. She was a fucking dick, aren't you? <laughs> but that's why I kind of liked her because she was very untied, very genuine, and just didn't give a fuck about money. And she was like, and, and now she's just a big fat bitch fucking living in a village. Now doesn't do it. <laughs> she's fucking huge. I feel like my, my mates would be laughing going, let it go, stop talking about your fucking girlfriend. It doesn't mean it, I'm sure he cut, still likes you. Cut, and don't cut, come, all, cut all this don't, 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 don't come at him with your steak knife or, or anything like that. But um, oh, you've lived a very interesting life. Um, I bet you've lived a few lifetimes. Um, you, you, you're, yeah. a tat, you, you're a tattooist as well. Yeah. Uh, going to that again through... Uh, how many years? Was it in Thailand you picked no, up this? No, it was. Uh, after... Right, so... Remember, all the cues are there, absolutely covered top to the tail uh, in tattoos. And all the way you're going through, you're doing lots of cueing. And lots of, there's lots of nakedness uh, stirring at the back of it. Uh, so you're staring at these tattoos and that. And this in getting, Japan, is this in Japan? In Japan, yeah. 
You, you, the, the the accuser are very heavily yeah. tattooed in the yeah oh that's what I mean the, the tattoos are, the tattoos are symbolic aren't they yeah yeah you, like if you so I'm looking at these and look looking at the stories and trying to work out and asking them like a, say if I seen somebody's tattoo I say to them when I got a chance say I've seen your tattoo what does it mean or on the, so they it'll explain status. how the dragon was going over the there status to, the state the, like the status your status you know it's a bit like you know like you're getting a spiritualist healing thing yeah, right? yeah. so that's what the in the body is. These dragons are coming to get the badness out of them. Really? And then they've got such a body protecting you. He's over your shoulder watching your back. I've got your back, mate. Uh, from this fucking... So that... Uh, so it's lots of stories like that. You know, with the, uh, the Koi Carps that were uh, going upstream and... Uh, what does that symbolise? It's yeah. something to do with... Uh, I can't remember. Like a uh, hope of freedom or searching. Uh, yeah. I can't remember now. I'm surprised I could forget that. I know, the, that's one of the basic The Russian things. mafia and the, uh, the accuser, uh, the, the tattoos are kind of like symbolic and they can recognise each other. And like, I think the Russian, I don't know much about the Japanese. Yeah, I know what you mean. The, the Russians have things. the best. They have the, the, uh, they have the stars on their knees, the Russian mafia. It means they'll never, that's, that's high ranking. It means right, they'll never yeah. kneel for anybody. Oh, you, have yeah, your yeah. Lapels to, you have lapels tattooed on you. And, and so. I mean, I'm sh pretty sure that uh, from what I can uh, guess, the, the Russian prisons look way worse than the Japanese yeah, prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many worse, as strict as it was. And it's definitely the most strictest prison. But once you get your head around it, if I were to go back there now, knowing what I know, that's why I would really like to, if anybody's in there now, I can say, listen, it really isn't as bad. Once you get your head around it, it's actually, you could be almost like spiritual. Like with the, we were talking about the Wim Hof breathing and, and the cold techniques as well. So I fucking hate being cold. But if I'd have known now, what then about the cold and breathing, oh my God, it'd be, it'd, at the time it would have been so much better. Yeah. So I feel like, like I say, if anybody said to me, oh, such a body's in the prison, I'll, I'll write letters to them and I'll say, listen, I know exactly what you are, what you're going through. This is what's going to happen because you're mainly worried. You're always in, not in the know. You know, you'd never know what's going on. Like family, you always you have that over you. You were talking and before about your, your family. Yeah. yeah you, you, you was out to loop with that. Are your family yeah. okay? Is everything? All through letters. Everything's through letters. Once them letters start coming through, it was amazing. Oh my God. My family and friends, none of them let me down. They were like, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm getting emotional again. Now. It's all right. You, you're Can't all you, right. You, you, you breathe it out. Don't you? Every, every woman I've fucking oh. ever been out with has ended up in tears. I'm not saying we're having yeah. a relationship, no, here, but Steve, but I mean, it, these like tears of like thankfulness. Like, no, you yeah, know, yeah. The, my, my mates and family were so fucking good. Like, um, and they used to say to me, so every day I'm sat there on me pissing around making pens. At some point in the day, the letters will come. Okay. And they'll go, uh, Stephen! All right. Yeah, he'll go, Right, okay. And you get up, you do your march over to it, and I have to sign uh, thumb, your thumbprint, your... Uh, okay. I have probably five letters every day. Right. So I've, I've marked, and it was a good buzz as well, right? So I go, oh, that's a letter from there, that one, that one, that one, oh, that's from, that's from uh, whatever, I'm thinking. But yeah, and then, so I've confirmed it. Then when I get to the cell at night, that eventually yeah. gets given to you. This is one of the moments where we used to swap shit and all that, because one of, like, the trustees... But he was a trusted him at the same time. We were swapping each other's stuff. Okay. I mean, you get well fucked if you get caught. But he just, he still did it. I'd be doing drawings for people. Like, uh, uh, like my mate Paul. Did we get on to, I don't think we, we met Paul, the, uh, the Bel uh, Belgian guy. Okay. So he was a really good artist as well. Probably better than me. Uh, um, at that early stage of our art, it, he he did this amazing picture for me. And, and we were, I did a picture for him kind of thing. So it was very hard to swap. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'll, t I'll tell you Paul's story as well, while, uh, otherwise I'll probably forget about it. So the, the first day I got arrested, the day after, two cells along, uh, no, he's in four. He was in four and I was in number one. The, this uh, really well-spoken, I suppose people were coming in, once he let them get a cell and we're talking out and they go, where are you from, buddy? You go, uh, in number, go, number four, the new lad just come in. Uh, where, where are you from, buddy? Somebody might be saying something yeah, like yeah. that. And you go, uh, I'm from uh, Belgium. You go, like, what, what, what are you in for, mate, if you don't mind asking? Oh, yeah, I think he had one, yeah, I think he had one kg, possibly. He swallowed it anyway. Okay, that uh, one. Crystal meth. And the Johnny, that, is that a condom? <laughs> I, I presume so, I'm not sure. But he just come from shitting it all out. So this <coughs> guy, right? 
Never smoked. I think he's had probably had two glasses of wine. He said in his life, religious. He, uh, he was an architect. He was a clever, smart lad. Yeah. Um, originally born in Cameroon, then brought up in Belgium. The family had gone to Belgium. Then they'd end up living in England. He, it's quite a long story short, he's ended up uh, going to a Middle East architect. He's got ripped off. He's got conned. He's Nigerian types because they're well fucking dodgy like that. He's because he's so naive and everything. This lad, very innocent, really innocent. He's ended up going to LA. And uh, they've, they've faked this fucking thing up and set him up. His wife is just about to give birth to the first child. He's got no money, no nothing. He's been ripped off to fuck, lost everything. Um, they basically said to him, right, just swallow this, get to London. He, he's, whatever the amount is. And he's he's felt like he's, he's had no way out of it. Next minute, he's got there, he's landed in. He said, I felt sick. I felt something wrong with me. They actually said to us, I went green. He's black as the ace of spades. He said, I went green. I thought, and they pulled me over and that was me. And I think he got like, uh, did he get nine years? Is this in the uh, Wandsworth you met him? Or no, like? this is in Narita. The, oh, okay. the Japanese, the, the list of the second day. So how did he end up from uh, smuggling drugs to England? From Was it from smuggling from LA no, to England? from LA to Japan. All oh, right, okay. We both got arrested within... I think the yeah, same day, but I met him like the, the day after. Anyway, we got really well because we we're doing quizzes and stuff yeah, yeah. over this time. And then once you get moved on to like when we go to uh, Chiba, and I said to him as well, I said, listen, I knew from the British British Embassy there was no point appealing. Like zero. I said, don't appeal. Once you got it, that's what you got. They yeah, think, well, you deserve yeah. it, so fuck you. No, but you, you're not going to, they're not suddenly going to go on the, on the next appearance six months later. Yeah, that was a bit tough, that. Maybe we'll take a couple of years off. You're right. You have got a point, like, I know you have, they, whatever reason they've got, you, you will not do it. But for uh, for international relations, like, and all that. Just... No, the, whatever you're sentenced in Japan, that's it, you're fucking getting it. And you've no point you're appealing it, whether you're Japanese, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Just, so they said to you, don't appeal it. It's pointless. He said he was going to appeal. I said, oh no, Paul, don't appeal it. I said, my embassy and all that, they seem to know what they're doing. They said, don't appeal it. Do they treat you worse in prison if you appeal? I don't think so. It's all the same. Okay. They don't give a shit one way. They don't even know. Yeah. Most of these, uh, the, uh, the officers, um, can I forget what they're called? Uh, Tanto-san. They, they're called Tanto-san. They don't even know. They're just doing a job and they're going and doing this. They don't have, they don't have a clue what people are in for. So anyway, the point with this way, he appealed and it cost him like another six months of, and you don't get it took off and everything. So anyway, eventually when I go in the prison, in, in the factory, and I'm all settled in by then, this is maybe, I don't know, maybe eight months in. Uh, when there's always somebody coming nearly every day in and out, you, you come in, you go against the wall. I'm in the changing rooms there, getting changed, because I have this like chair, and just thought, Oh my God, Paul, mate, he, now mate, it was in our factory. There's loads of factories. And he was there, I thought, oh, thank God. And I went over, kind of slightly off. I'm going, hey. I said, don't look, don't look, you know, don't look, don't look, kind of thing. I said, we'll talk, we'll talk in, in an hour. So eventually we had a break, like, oh, mate, how are you doing? I said, you're going to be all right. I said, it's not that bad factory. The boss, you know, like, I said, and you know, like, because it was like, it was like finding your friend. Like the best, he was the only person I really like. He's like, he was like a loving, really nice, complete opposite to me. As I'm a fucking loud gobshite, fucking, he's such a like, such a lovely, he's, he's calm yeah, nice and, uh, and, and very positive. Yeah, yeah. And when we were talking very positive about things, God, listen, you know, like, and we just helped ourselves through it, like, and uh, yeah, and he only got out, was it, uh, maybe two years now, doesn't feel that long. I sent him a message on Facebook because I didn't know how to get hold of him at all I just because he had a quite uh, strange name I found him I found family and I just said like mate eventually if you see this message please get in touch with me um, I hope you're good blah 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 and then I always thought you know and then one time like two years ago bing he called me like that no way yeah yeah and like that how are you doing brother oh it's so good to wear uh, so where's he living now he's in uh belfast oh belfast but somehow he's uh i could do it some kind of a business i only spoke to him a few days ago yeah because i actually said i've done this po podcast uh I've, i didn't mention you because i didn't know whether because he says he says no 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 problem you can tell tell a story that's why now i can tell it yeah uh, yeah yeah but he was a huge part of my journey yeah of just having a friend yeah 
I got on with a lot of few people, but you bonded not, with him. Uh, yeah, him. We were like uh, like little brothers, like so yeah. different, but yeah. like brothers, you know. We'll have to go and see him at some point. Yeah, like yeah. The place. amount of times, but I'm always abroad. By the time I come back, then he's in Belgium. Yeah. Uh, blah blah blah. Oh yeah, definitely. It'd be, yeah. It'd be a great day. Lovely vlog. Yeah. So the ta the tattooing. Um, hmm. How long have you been at this game then? Yeah, not I've, not that long. I don't fully do it. I'm not like. It's uh, not like you don't have a shop or anything like that. You, or do you have a tattoo shop? Well, yeah. yeah. Did uh, you have a tattoo shop? Or? No, I, 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 I went into a tattoo shop. We got murdered. There's always a murder. <laughs> um, Fucking hell. I'm, yeah. I'm not bothered though. I've nothing to live for. So I'll carry on anyway. <laughs> um, when I, I'd already left the shop in Aslandon. Uh, it was called Mick. Nice lad, but it was uh, a junkie. Okay. The, uh, well, he's dead now, but the shop was fucking filthy. I had my own like private room that I'd kind of rented, and he was always borrowing my stuff and breaking me this and that. In the in the end, I thought I like the lad, but he's he's just fucking filthy, filthy. So I left and uh, went to uh, I think that was I was just due to go in this other place, and then I went on all to, to Thailand. That's where I ended up better, never came back. Um, I actually started tattooing on the island. My, okay. my, my mate Brad, right, Brad? Uh, my mate Brad's shop there. But yeah, this Mick, because um, we're dealing, I don't know what we're doing with drugs. I don't fully know what's happened, but he's ended up getting stabbed and uh, murdered. Fucking hell. Yeah, but yeah. But the tattooing, is it nerve wracking tattooing someone for the first time? As, as you build up Didn't to it. Didn't bother me. Is it like, is I it guess. true that you tattoo Am Shanks first? Or did you think fucking Yeah, no, yeah. Had... Yeah. I got uh, I got the ham shanks first uh, from Morris and some uh, pork. Uh, thing. What do they taste that... like after they've tattooed? <laughs> they all get shit. they get sweat, sweaty as fuck. You wa wash them off and all that. Put them on the grill. They were right. But um, so it's quite nerve wracking tattooing someone for the first time. It didn't bother me. Oh, did you start really simple? I I, I tattooed my mate a cover up. He gave me the uh, back then. You call them guns when you don't know what. You, they're called machines. It's a massive no no in the tattoo world. Call if you, if you call it a gun, you call it a gun, you dickhead. Yeah. It's a machine. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Is it, you know, what what, what kind of gun? It's not a fucking gun, it's a machine. Yeah, yeah. It's a really big thing. Like, okay, calm down. So, anyway, my mates give me all these, these machines, the coils. It's a different system, right? This is what put me off. So much fucking around with these coils, tuning them in, all the springs and all this shit. I can't stand stuff like that, mate. Like uh, mechanical. My brain isn't like that. That's kind of put me off. And then at one point, as the more we're looking into it, there's a, there's a new like pen system. Where okay. Basically, like you plug it in, and the needles, the different needles, put it on, and that's it. Go. No there's a lot, right. lot more to it than that, but it's basically on. We're off. You're drawing on people. So once I'd seen that, I thought, oh, all right, I'm a bit more interested now. And all this fucking around with... Uh, yeah. Like, eh, 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 eh. yeah, springs but, and things. And, and these are really quiet. It's like a, it's like a bit like a vibrator. Mm. And uh, yeah, so my mate says, just have a go on me. He wants to he had this big uh, phoenix on his back. I went, all right then, okay. So by somewhere where he wasn't, but it was a shit tattoo where he had on his back anyway. I couldn't really fuck it up. So I had a go like started like that. And then uh, I soon realised, oh, didn't bother me at all. I wasn't nervous. Did it take long anything. to like get into the, the kind of... Uh... No, my style as well, because I do like a more of a real... Uh, real uh, cause I've done lines. If I was to do lines, it might be different. You know, this way, you basically got to pull a straight line. That's where any shaking... Whereas my style, it's more of a, uh, a painterly. Yeah, uh, yeah. Stroking in. Okay. Where I've got loads of room for error-ish. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm pretty good for uh, not making mistakes. You know, like with the drawing, that I, I literally I'll never use a, a rubber other than putting highlights in. Do you use flashes or freehand? You could, could you, you do you work freehand? Both, but yeah, mainly yeah. if you're doing like a portrait, or something it has to be a flash. A flash is like where you put the stencil on the. I'm not yeah, trying to yeah. tell people. Like well, yeah, you got, like, yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. a few. I've got yeah. a few. Can't. I kind of regret them. Have you no tattoos yourself? Yeah, my legs. Yeah. Yeah, you, you did start on did your legs. My, yeah, I did my own legs here, and then I went to a uh, Amsterdam tattoo convention and uh, got like five so you don't have any your arms and stuff no, just your legs no, no, no. Uh, tattooists do that they, they tattoo yeah. your legs to get used I, to I it i think everyone will have you got all of your legs and all kind of swirly shit and just uh well i just thought you know like i've got to know what it feels I'm like i'm not trying to make you take your pants off no, it's I'm not this kind of a show really. i don't think i've got any underpants on i've seen you online talking and you've been on my live stream yeah. is punk your thing or was it punk no bands? uh it was more of a rock uh, rock band i ended up being in a punk band uh, 
I mean, man, toured around Europe in that band. That okay. was that was a good, that was brilliant. That really good laugh. But it was brilliant. But also, that's when I realised there's a lot of luck to this game, and uh, all the bullshit. And it actually that finished me off that tour. I thought this is not for me. This is fucking bullshit. Yeah. As we're going to the art thing as well, it's a similar version of a lot of luck and bullshit. Yeah. Because like me, uh, like my best mates, that we're still best mates now. That the uh, two of us in the band. Uh, we grew up together. We literally went, uh, I'm playing the drums, I, I'll play the lead guitar, uh, like was. And then uh, me and my mate Arnie, he could play a few chords. And then we thought it were the best ever. He could do these two chords. He could play a bit of Sex Pistols. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. He, could, he could play the guitar. And I was playing the drums at my mate Burns' house, who were uh, RIP. He, he just died this year as well. Sorry Cancer, yeah. One year younger than me. Just went anyway. But me, me and Burns, yeah, we used to play the drums in his house and then we end up nicking uh drums out of the school they're not going to come back and home with this and whatnot so we had to we had broken to two schools okay. that's the only bit of serious thieving he ever did yeah yeah and uh you got detention if you got caught doing that one yeah you? uh i think so yeah i did go to, to detention center when i was a kid I did a couple not uh two hours every two weeks or something like that. that was bad enough that's as that's as close as I got. I nearly got sent down when I was about 21. Too much fighting. And you know, silly shit in pubs. Yeah, yeah. And that, because I nearly got sent down, because the, the guy says, uh, the middle lawyer, whatever, um, he says, you might be going down here. I went, that I absolutely shit myself. I, need, and I, I never did it again. I need to drag you on a tangent here while yeah, you well, mentioned fighting. Yeah. Michael Bisping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you had an incident with the UFC fighter, Michael Bisping? You've had an incident with him? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess I don't know if to tell the full story because you you can look on Ian's. Uh, I think I did the full story on there, but I'll give you a quick version. No, I'll give, of it. No, I'll give you ten years because a lot of people want to see yeah. it. You know what I mean? If Ian can yeah. have it, we can fucking have it. Now, too. I mean, I talked to my mates about this because when I was going to go on the Sean Atwood thing, obviously you got a lot of big hard tough guys and all that shit. And there's a lot of fighting and a lot of bravado. Uh, what's the bravado? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want to go on there. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to mainly do the, but also it's like a quite a big thing where people. Always, why didn't you tell this story about your twat in Lisbon? I went because I didn't want to uh, come across as a fucking. Uh, oh, I'm hard as fuck. So can you do a bit? Of, can you do a bit then? Like? Right, I can do a bit, yeah. But mainly that this story is about my fucking ass going. Because okay. he would have kicked the fuck out of me. Of course he would have. Then that's the point. When it happened, he basically uh, put a couple of people in hospital in the pub. He's gone out in the back. I've gone to try and uh, generally went to have a one on one with him. He's an absolute. He's only about twenty one there, but he was fucking huge. He looks way bigger than he like. I think he was bigger then at twenty one. Then he cause he went down. He looked like an heavyweight anyway. He just looked mean as fuck. But anyway, my two mates have gone down. I go outside to so generally have a one on one with him. My ass went. I thought I'm gonna get fucking twatted here. <laughs> I just grabbed all the beer crates. We're in this thing and I'm fucking twatted him as I called. He's got the big, I think he's the big scar on his head there and it was down and out and uh, that's the shorter version of it. Well, it's well, not a case that I've gone on and I've had one on one I've fucking beat him. I've gone on there my ass has gone that fucking belt. Was there no him. repercussions for that? Um... I knew friends that uh, knew him and uh, this is, so I didn't know nothing about him until that night. Then they're all going, oh he's fucking, I think he's like European kickboxing champ at this point. This is a few years before he went to America. I thought it was very, but it wasn't. It's around about 2001. This is where I'll get. Oh, there'll be fucking knobheads looking online. There's, there's, always, bullshit, nobbe there's always nobheads on this yeah, channel. That's, that's Not bullshit. me regulars who support the channel and send donations. Well, I'm they, getting old people saying that I've, I've made it up, haven't they? No, don't, don't yeah. worry about it. We'll get on to that. Right? We'll get on that to yeah. later. Yeah. And when I said there's knobheads, what, it's not, anybody who's donated the channel, you're not a knobhead. You, I love you. I, you know, but... So we, we do get the odd knobhead. We all know the knobhead. So. People pretending they, they own uh, corner shops and things. and just meant <laughs> pe People who pretend they're from New York when they're from fucking corner. Honestly, anyway, I'm going on, but... Yeah, what's that song? The uh, Fake Tales from San Francisco. Fake Tales from Lawrence yeah. or Scholes or something. But um, I've, 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 yeah, lost so, me, I've lost... I've lost... I've lost... Where was we? Yeah, so it, was the, it was the end of the Bisbon fucking thing. Yeah. Basically, I went out, twatted them all the other uh, beer crate. After it... So I, I I was carrying me. I used to play a lot of pool. Obviously, I was fucking brilliant as pool as well as everything else. <laughs> I used to play for on about it. I had a game of snooker last night. I am fucking shit. Yeah, Always yeah, shit yeah. at snooker. But I used to be pretty decent at pool. I played for like the town team. Almost qualified for Lancashire at one point. Right. Once I've done my neck in again, I can't I can't get down and get a shot in. And I'm fucking shit. And it does me head in. It really does me head in playing pool now. You know when I've been like a half decent level. 
but I was never never any good at snooker. Anyway, so I'm carrying me me uh, little quarter thing around with me for weeks and weeks, and I said to him because I knew he knew I, where I would be every Thursday night because I was in the pool team. So I'm thinking, fucking, I've honestly for weeks and weeks I was like, F somebody's coming in like that. He's like, because I knew he'd kick fuck yeah, out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just said, I put the word out to say, like, listen, I'm carrying. I said, I've never used, I tell him I've never used a weapon before. I will hold my hand up. He will kick the fuck out of me. So I will have to use a weapon again, up to him. Yeah. And then, you know, I was walking around Clitheroe. He was walking up the street. I thought, oh, fucking hell, is that fucking come? And I uh, walked up and he went, nodded, I nodded at him, and that were it. So have, well, you never sport, have you never spoke to him since? No, I never said that's the only time I've seen him after yeah. that nod. Right, so that, that was the only time. I know he's in California now. Again, I've heard him tell this story. At the time when it happened, not just that happened, I thought it was the same night. That somebody's gone into his house, tied him up, and poured petrol over his head and put a fucking light to him oh, and said, what? pack it in. Okay. Basically, that's what I heard had happened to him, and I thought it was the same night. I thought he's going to think he's fucking me. Was and he, Oppie, uh, I can say Oppie's name. Was he a shit house at one point then, with causing a lot of trouble? Uh, I don't think he was, a, he was just a bullying cunt. Was he not, a bully? No, yeah. not, no. He was just up for a fight. No, he wasn't a bully. He was fight anybody. Yeah. The Wigan bouncers came over, tried to take over Clither all the time. Him and my mate weren't having any of it. So you got these big, you know, these Wigan bouncers, fucking, they're not soft cunts, are they? No. But they're going on trying to, they're basically twatted the Clitheroe bounce, uh, bouncers storm and fucked them yeah, off. Yeah. Whereas uh, Bisman and the other, me mate, they've gone fuck off and end up scrapping like fuck with them. Yeah, yeah. They've had to baseball bat on them and all sorts of that. Yeah. yeah, I seen the picture of me mate, uh, he was black and blue, not Bisman, but my mate, he was his mate. Right. So in, in other words, he was just up for it. He was just full of it. Obviously he's good at fighting, he's just fast for scrapping mate, any cunt. Yeah. Yeah, but at one point he did. He jumped on one of my mates' heads. Um, I won't tell you the full, but something really bad happened to me mate, and he went on the piss because he was like really upset. He didn't know what's going on. My mate's probably been a bit of a dick. He's ended up kicking off with him. He not only just twatted him, but he's jumped on his head. And um, if he gets to see this, he'll, he'll know what I'm on about. But apparently, I don't think Michael will be skimming. Anybody, nobody, well, you never know. Nobody but. watches this, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's weird. Well, but apparently, he went around and apologised and said, "Look, I didn't realise what had gone on. I apologise." Because at that point, you know, it was uh, oh, things could have gotten uh, silly. But anyway, that was that's that story. You know, it's not as uh, I don't want it to come across like I twatted Michael Bism. I'm not saying I'm saying my ass went. He would have kicked me out. Yeah. But. I fucking did what I had to do. I don't regret yeah. doing it at all. Yeah. I've never used a weapon in my life. I've never used one since, as far as I can remember. But, um, yeah, um, I, I had to. He would have kicked fuck out of me. I wouldn't have done violence. I'd have followed him on Twitter and unfollowed him to, to <laughs> teach him a lesson. Hello, <laughs> Michael Bisping. Have you ever spur room? Uh, and I'm one of his like uh, what's, what's he called? The, his job. Not, not Bill X, the other guy we're on about. I'm going to delete you from uh, MySpace. Who, who, who's that? Doug Stanhope? Uh, yeah, Doug Stanhope, yeah. You see that, mate? This is my picture Stephen's done of Bill X. Amazing. He was a good comedian. Um, I was saying earlier, when it, you watch Bill X and if you do stand-up, you want to give up, but then you see some of the knobheads, other knobheads are doing it. You think, well, what was that thing that, him. in the American uh, comedy club? As they're going in, there's something written on the top says something like, just remember you're not Bill Hicks. Because what everybody was just copying, do something you know, like that. Wasn't in it? in um, the comedy store, where, uh, I, I won the King Gong competition twice. And all you do, you get... In America? No, oh, sorry, in, in Manchester, uh, yeah. Yes, in Manchester. And you get... Um, you get two spots. You don't get paid. You get two 10-minute spots on a professional night. And before, oh, yeah. you, before you go on, you're in this olden area. It's a small kind of olden area. And you kind of feel like a gladiator. Like a, <laughs> but, but there's yeah. all, all the professional comedians who are... Uh, all pictures you, you, and shit. You're, 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 you're known as an open spot. That's what you're called. Right. And, and all, the, all the professional comedians have wrote on, open spot, you're not funny. You're, <laughs> you, you are going to die. I, oh, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll get, get ready to fucking fail, yeah. You know, and I used to wear a flat cap. And, 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 and so somebody had wrote on... If you're not funny, get an act. And I thought, oh. it, was, I thought it was some country who'd seen me. I, 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 I thought that Justin Moore is somebody who I've had, I've had beef with. Kind of, uh, but there's all this like stuff. Yeah, I can picture it. And yeah, like, and another thing they do, 
the compere sometimes for be extra cruel. They'll stop on that bit longer. So do you, do you know your roaring oh, go? Oh yeah, yeah. Your ro- you you roaring go, and, 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 and you're thinking like, yeah, it'll, it'll do a minute now, and you're thinking you fucking prick, you've done ten oh, minutes. And another thing, I couldn't look, imagine that. And that... They, 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 what they do if they want to be really pricks with you. They'll do the best material and they'll laugh the crowd out for that section. Really? So, when, so when you go on, you won't be able to follow that. And it's a the timing's all horrible kind of thing. A lot of comedians are horrible I, bastards. I always thought it were better to have like a somebody funny go on before you instead of like somebody shit. It, then suddenly you're funny. It can work two ways. I'm just going on like Rogan's always on about papping on about it. It, 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 it can it, it can work two ways. They can either think, oh, I was brilliant him. I, yeah. wanted, I wanted him back on. And then you go on. It's oh, like, yeah, and then you, fuck's oh, this. Oh, yeah, we're just getting into that. You know that, what I mean? Yeah. Or, or it can be a, a situation. It can work either way, you know. But um, I just had to tell you that while we yeah. was on about the, it, the But subject. that takes some balls, that. I think in a similar... No, more, I'd say. It's a, I'd say more balls to go up and do that than fucking smuggle drugs. It's, you know, it's a totally different uh, scenario or whatever. But it definitely takes a lot more... I don't know. Just because you won't get fucking uh, jailed in Japan for I think I, I think my, ra- for my act, I should be jailed. I think in I'd Japan. rather do it like stand up, be do a stand up thing with people I didn't know or anything. Yeah. I could just, I didn't want my mates going. Shut up, you dick! Fucking rubbish. It's the equ- a weird thing. What you wouldn't think the equate stand up to boxing. Not, not, really? not, not in the, not in the take away the violent aspect. Yeah. And in, in the fact that you're alone up there. And uh, all the all the onus is on you, kind of thing. It, that apart from the there's no well, some of my fucking gigs have, yeah. have, have fucking ended up in boxing kind of thing. But um, I've, had a, I've had a few uh, boxing matches in town. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. So you can, you, right. Just jump in. What what happened, lad? Like? You just um... uh, oh, well, I'll tell you the last one because the last one's probably more funny. Again, my mate Jason, and uh, I can get yeah, and another lad, uh, Steve Ellie. He just come out of Nick, right? And he's all fucking all beefed up, ready for uh, he said, I'm gonna have a do it against the ties. He's like fitting it up for it. Go, oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we end up on the piss all day. We're in this uh, area where they have, they have a little uh, boxing ring, a tiny one. It's literally at the entrance of a nightclub. It's all a bit of a joke. And then uh, it was my mate Jason's last days again. Hey, for a laugh. Go and have a, have a do against the ties, uh, boxing. So we're steaming drunk. We're no, no way. And uh, anyway, before you know it, I say, if you do one round, stay, I'll do one round against the ties. He goes, yeah, right then, fuck it, let's have a go for a laugh. I goes in there first. Also, I'm used, I do lots of training, I'm used to training like three minutes. But I said to him, I said, listen, do two minute, no kickboxing, just boxing. He's going, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, no problem. I said, listen, don't take it easy. I'm not going to go. We'll just do a bit of a, you know, bit of a light. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We start off. There's only three of us, right? There's loads of Germans in. And they're all watching. The guy's going, uh, from England, uh, Stephen, boo, boo. Let me just ask you. Yeah. So what's this? Is it some night where anybody can get up and fight yeah, each other? They're all doing a, like a show every night, all the oh, time. Okay, right. It's a continuous like fake show. A lot of bollocks, really. They hit each other, but it's not like full on. You know, it's all it's all an act. But if you get in with them and organise something, then it, it's not an act, it's real. Yeah, yeah. So this fucker, I'm saying to proper take it easy, going, yeah, yeah. No, bell goes. I'm thinking, right, I've only got a realistic 10 seconds in me at the end of uh, the round. So I'm thinking, I can't even throw a punch. He's spinning around, fucking doing all sorts, kicking me. They're all going, hey, hey. And I'm like, you fucking cunt. I'm getting bashed all over. Fuck fucking yeah. me mates are laughing. Me, oh, you dickhead, come on, come on. I'm thinking, well, I've got to wait till, I've got to wait till the end. I haven't got anything in me. to Just, just even avoid him. Just let him be, tire himself out. I'm not, no, I know he's not going to tire out, but I know I haven't got anything to do. I can't do anything. Right. Other than a last mad 10 minutes. So I'm, 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 I'm getting ready for this. Uh, I'm not even throwing a punch, right? <laughs> Ding, the bell's gone. <laughs> okay, bro, bro, get this fucking idiot. He's not even, I'm going, no, I, I thought it was three minutes in my head. I'm going, okay, one more round. Plus my adrenaline's going by now. Cause I've been kicked the fuck out of in the ring. So I've got it going, right? Come on, one, one, one more round. I'm ready now. Because you you, your, your knees go weak. You know, you're in there because of all the nervous energy. But as I was getting twatted, I am thinking, right, yeah, I'm ready. It's not that, because the punches, I were not feeling anything other than it was yeah, getting yeah. me going. Second round gets going. Um, 
I clocked him, right, just listen, the time was perfect. I banged him, he's fucking on his ass. Yeah, it's like that with the Germans. I go, fuck yeah. And then it's going, yeah. He's fucking back up in there. He's going, fucking, I banged him again. He's down again. I probably only done three or four punches, really. I'm absolutely shagged out. <laughs> I'm knackered at this point. Yeah, he, again. He's going to get up again by the third yeah. time. I just thought, he's going to swat me now. So I just went, fuck yeah. I banged him as he's trying to get up. The referee's jumped in. This is where it gets a bit silly. I end up nutting the referee. His mace jumps in. My mace, there's a big massive fee for all. We're all going fucking pitching <laughs> in the ring like that. And they all got they got stopped. And then literally they went, right, you're on, you're on. We're all oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. We're all laughing. Sorry. Uh, and then my mate went in there. He had a mad round and they were just like packed and like fuck. Uh, they ended up, uh, he was going in like a, he did the complete opposite to me. He really went for it. And this guy just all over the place. They eventually f f f fell over and uh, the mate Steve's got he went, that's me fucked. All right, come on, let's carry on drinking. You've uh, definitely got a book in you. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, yeah, we should talk about the book, but uh, I'm trying to write at the moment and you wrote the book. I've wrote my book. Do my head in. It's, it's just about being on the dole. It's more interesting <laughs> than that. I'm not, I've never lived a... I've, 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 I've done quite a lot of things in my life. One thing I I'd like to do more of, if with, get, without, get a va without a vaccine, well, that yeah. as well, is uh, travel, preferably without a vaccine. Uh, that's another story, but I would like to travel a lot more. Where but, have you been to, Jimmy? I know you've been to LA. I've, I've, I've got. Um, a, I went of to, course, I've got a mad LA story. I, I um, went to Los Angeles for a week. Um, I went with my mates from Wigan. Well, I, I went with a mate from Wigan, and uh, I, I paid for him. Uh, it was morning. Why? It, it was morning. The LA was uh, America were too big. Yeah. By Wednesday, he phoned his wife. Up. I thought it was small, you know me, flying into LA. I'm not having a go at you, Steve, if, you, if, you, if you're if listening to this, right? But on Wednesday, he phoned his wife up, said, my wife doesn't sound too happy. I'm, th I'm going to go home. And I thought, hang on a minute, I've just paid really? over a grand for you for to come to Los Angeles with me. Cheeky, you know what I mean? And he brought his mate, he was at, and they were both porters at Wigan Hospital, and there was a strike on, and they were more concerned. They, see, they sat in Los Angeles... And they're more worried about how they're going to get back to Wigan on the Friday to take part in the picket line at oh Wigan, Wigan Hospital. We didn't have one drink in LA. We was in bed for 10 o'clock. Um, and, uh, and all they were talking about was the hospital and things like that. And I'm thinking, you know what? We're in fucking Los Angeles. You know what I mean? Uh, if somebody had paid... So what I was doing, I was roaming the streets a lot. I was roaming... The, uh, four o'clock at morning, my eyes bing, you're in fucking yeah. Los Angeles. I get so up. It's I, exciting. I, I went up to fuck it. I went to um, there was a Starbucks on corner. I get a matcha latte, Colin, because I'm pretentious, and a banana. Don't ask me why. V and, I, 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 and I got talking to a, <laughs> I got talking to a black a black couple, and uh, this black this black woman was sat up at four in the morning. I've seen it. I've seen the I've seen the clip. Oh are you, yeah. Are you having a smoke? Because we're walking no, I, down I, the street. I they, they are, aren't they? The fucking joint this girl made. Yeah. Honestly, it it was like a fucking it was like a straight inch of weed. <laughs> And she said, "Do you want some of that?" I said, "Look, that I'll be in fucking A and E yeah. if I have that." But we, 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 were, we were roaming the streets of LA, oh. like talking about life, about five o'clock in six o'clock in the morning. It was fucking amazing. Was it, was it light? Um, I it, can it picture just, it light. It, it was just coming light, and, and oh, yeah. there was I've some, definitely seen it. Like you said, you, you've been there. There's some, some uh, LA is like. It's it's like the fucking wild west, in it? It, it, it. It's it's like what. <laughs> I was only there for 24 hours of yeah, absolute yeah. madness. Yeah, yeah. I did a three day binge. Flew. Right, so that we're, on, we're in uh, Las Vegas for a week. One of the days they want to go to Grand Canyon. I want to go Baywatch and see uh, the tits on the beach. To say, back, back to being a perv, aren't I? My, so mate, had welcome here. my mate had already done the uh, Grand Canyon. And he said, uh, how do you fancy uh, just flying to Baywatch for the day? I went, yeah, fucking right, that sounds good. He checked it all out, he did it. It was like six, six o'clock flight in the morning. A six o'clock flight, back in the morning. So, right, so we basically stopped up all the way the night, got the taxi to the airport, flew to uh, LA, stopped at our, a friend that said, stay at Banana Bungalows, Hollywood West. I don't know, I can still remember these things, but we stayed there, got there, Friend of a friend, we got this free tour around, okay. like the tour they do around Hollywood and all that shit. Drops us off down at um, the English pub, the King's Head, I think it's called. The few bands played there. I think Oasis and Garbage were playing there at the time. So it was like a big pub. Yeah. That that's when I got I like a cigarette up. Okay. Going, oh no, no, you can't smoke here. I went. All right, is this the uh, 
no, where's the smoking area? They go, no, no, you can't smoke in any pubs. He'd just come out in 1999 in LA. I went, really? There's no smoke outside. So I've gone outside, I've got a bottle of Bex. I'm smoking. And then she's going, no, 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 get inside, inside. I'm going, what, what? But you can't have your beer on the street. Yeah, you yeah. get arrested. I'm going, yeah. fuck you know, I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then before you know it, so we're there like 24 hour. We ended up getting roller blades. Never done roller blading before. Me and my daft mate, roller blade all the way down to the muscle of Venice Beach and all that shit. All the way back. We ended up being on free beer. No, a $5 karaoke night in the hotel i end up in the viper room my mate's got sunstroke he's having a fucking break down in the room i'm on the piss with these three american guys and and then i had to get back wake him up get in a taxi blah, blah, so three and when we land in la as well we're absolutely obviously ex so fucked my mates are going playing golf he goes you're going to play golf man I'm fucked. He says, listen, we're only going to play golf once. We're never going to do it again. I'm thinking, fuck it, I'll do it. Oh, I went playing golf. I had to stop in the end. Yeah. I had to went going looking for snakes. It's another story. But well, yeah, I had a, a brilliant... It, 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 I loved it. I felt completely at home though. I think my mates were like completely like... Uh, were, some people from like small towns are like, fuck, you know, it's like fish out of the water. But yeah. I'm quite old man and... There was some mad fucking sights there. I mean, so there was some heartbreaking shit. Have you seen I'm, it now? Uh, I've it's, seen it now. It's been like. really bad now. I'd love to go back though. There's some dude right going walking around videoing it. What um, uh, what's the the Muscle Beach and uh, well, it's rough it's as Santa fuck. Monica. It's rough as fuck. That Everything's Venice closed, Beach is all tents, tents and shit. It, there's loads of that. They're all shitting, shitting on Venice Beach now, and there's all full smack. It's, unbe it's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, you when we were there, it was proper. Do you know the, the film White Men Can't Jump? Yeah, yeah. That's filmed there. You know Woody Allison? Yeah, yeah. And me and uh, me and mate, we're having a bit of a break from this thing. Sat there. I swear to God, it was just like a scene from it. There's this young little white kid. He's fucking brilliant. And these big black dudes are all giving, yeah, your mother's an astronaut. You fucking yeah, all yeah. This, like giving each other shit. Like having banged to each yeah, other yeah. like that. It's like fucking, it really is like white well, men can't jump. Yeah, yeah. Plus, they were brilliant. Well, in, seven, in the 70s, in the film Pumping Iron. Yeah, you know, yeah. All, oh, you know, that, the, yeah. You have yeah. all the bodybuilders on yeah. Venice Beach. They're, still, they're there. That is, that's the same place. Yeah. Literally, is that tennis court's there. That, uh, the, yeah, the, what's I, it called? I remember the, seeing, Franco Columbo, when I was walking around with that couple, I remember seeing this little Hispanic fella. I, 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 they told me off because I was giving everybody money. I was giving loads of money. I was giving loads. There was oh, a little I, issue. I, when I, 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 I really wish I'd have given him some money because, you know, they have these fucking shopping carts so they collect plastic yeah, yeah. In, and they, 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 they wait, must weigh it in somewhere. Barcelona's full of them, isn't it? Have you ever seen them? No. no but, and he, he, it's he just, weird. He, he had his shopping trolley at side of him and he was just stood there and his pants were in his ankles and he was just pissing. And I just thought, fucking hell, and, and then there was like, it, it was, I suppose, the mm. people over here, who said, I'm fucking skimped me, I have no money, yeah, or they've yeah. only got a father, and uh, I can't get any yeah, unbelief. It's, it's and, different levels well, if, of skint, if, 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 if you live in America, and you're skint, you're fucking skint, yeah. you've not just got like a father yeah. for the gas or whatever. It's fucking you know bleak, I mean? innit? The, the whole world's gone bleak, innit? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. um, but that was my experience. I, I, if you, um interested there's a playlist on this channel called the la diaries with some videos of, of us in la having a, a mooch around kind of thing but uh, but getting back to your book uh, what's yeah. going on with that are you have, have you wrote it have, are no you no i'm not even not even what i'm do, trying to do is i've been like looking lots of things on youtube how to write and how to i want to do it in my own words my own accent kind of you know like a and just my own kind of style that's why i don't want to do uh, like a ghost writer um so what I'm trying, what this is what I think. I'm, I've got like a big list of yeah, yeah, start, finish, the places I went to, yeah. all the countries involved, the people involved, the things that I can't say, the things I can say, all the stories and uh, uh, all the relative. Because so basically, I've got two years of books where every day you'll have a few books in you. Fucking, I, my diary is is every yeah, single yeah. day. It's all you're basically doing is at night uh, is doing a lot of writing oh, and shit. Yeah. And when you start going back through, I can't believe I, I, I can go to like, like that and I can remember the day when I start reading that. Although you're doing the repetitive, the same old shit, I still remember the, the mindset and the way I was and that. Oh God, yeah. It's weird. It's bizarre. It, it, this year has brought it all back a lot. Whereas I kind of, because remember I, it was 2011 when I've got out. So it's nine years ago. But I mean... 10 years now, isn't it? 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, but 10 years. 
but reliving it all a bit more way deeply having going on that and doing this and and now i've had to like think about doing a book i, I thought about doing a book but then i thought i can't be asked i want to it was what it was move on from it i don't want it to be uh you know, everything fucking, that you know what i mean it's 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 the most it was one of the hardest yeah the, it, it, tearing your fucking ear out things i've done but it was it's, it's the proudest thing i've done probably is writing that book and it's only a part one the the the, the, the part yeah, two yeah. uh, is um it, it just needs it's finished but it just needs uh, grammar uh, grammatical I can't I can imagine clean, what, cleaning up and just but what, what, once it's done it's, it's probably but it's, really. a, it's, an, it's, a, it's it is an amazing feeling um how, how mine come about self, completely self-published there was a um a journalist called jonathan margolis we've had him on here via zoom and he wrote bernard manning's autobiography right. he's also a hybrid journalist he was the first journalist to name peter Sutcliffe. really yeah he's, he's done a he, that's his claim to fame oh i've seen, I've seen him yeah he's, yeah, he's yeah, on yeah, the yeah, podcast yeah, on that, here yeah. and um i randomly found him on twitter I said you jonathan are you the real jonathan margolis he said yeah I said, I've got an email. I, I, I've wrote this manuscript. Now, I left school at 15 yeah. and I did. I only found out about grammar through writing a book. I, oh, I just yeah, knew yeah. What, where full stops went. I didn't even know where commas went. Yeah, that's well. what. Um, I didn't. I, I, I'm yeah, yeah. prepper. Like, so I sent him this fucking raw manuscript. But at first of all, he said, Look, he said, I'm not going to make any money out of writing and you're not. Mainly because it's not about the content anymore. It's like. Fucking Gemma Collins can write a book. Now that yeah, book yeah. can be pure shit, it but it's, it's about it's economics. It's like who you are. It doesn't matter what you say. This you world stories. we're in now, and that's yeah. all it is now. Yeah. It's all shallow and it's all. Content. Same with the YouTube thing, isn't it? Yeah, well, you, you, I, I'm, yeah. I, I'm very frustrated at the minute. We, we've put a lot of time and effort into this channel, and like you yeah, get, you, I, you, I think your channel's magic. You, I'm really you, enjoying you're it. You're getting numpties now, just calling each other pricks. I think really the planet's in that low state of a vibration. In it, yeah. People just that, yeah. people just want to see nastiness. People want to see people calling each other out, ranting and raving at each you're an other. You're a you're lying. That's, you're, that's you're, all. So, you know what? You need to do all this. Just just start calling people on YouTube yeah. and like threatening. Yeah. I, I, say, well, I'll have a boxing fight with you, um, and you'll get you'll, you'll get so much more fucking interest. And you think it makes you think? Why should I fucking bother doing this? Why, why should we bother? Yeah putting the effort in and buying all the gear I think the last thing the time given I think to you it. got to have the faith that somehow eventually yeah yeah it'll come good yeah yeah it's like a, it might be like a hidden gem yeah you know like sometimes you, you find like an artist like a a certain band that uh from the 70s or something yeah how come oh, i would never heard of yeah them. completely I can't believe how good they are and i've never heard of them completely and i think somehow and i think when it when it eventually will get through and the people that will enjoy it are the people that you want to enjoy it um if yeah, you get me yeah, and yeah. all the dickheads that they're into all like, fucking go and listen to somebody calling you, somebody a nonce and whatever you're, um, either fucking eh, eh, eh. You're, you're right in what you're saying it and it's like sometimes it's better to have a smaller a smaller following yeah, de yeah. decent people than a gaggle of knobheads that are just scumbags really it's like the, the banter we have on the live stream right because yeah, right because yeah. i know i've got another mate who's uh, got a bigger channel and once it gets too busy it all gets lost in it yeah, and yeah. nobody can read anything you can't you, you won't know what's going on yeah, yeah so just when it's nice and small while it is we can all have a bit of crack in the, the banter the, the, it's past i'll tell you what i, I know where a lot of people are because we don't have this pub and this thing to do. And especially, we're not, we're not, I'm not a TV watcher. You're not a TV no, watcher. No, 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 so you sat at home, what else are you going to do? I mean, a lot of times I do. Yeah, I, yeah. I used to draw a lot yeah, more. Yeah. That's what pisses me off as yeah, well. Yeah. The, I'm, I'm on, online way too much where I should be. I, I'm fucking get and start drawing. Do some painting. Uh, organise tattoo. Organise lots of shit other than fucking next minute watching fucking uh, duck rape on YouTube. It's killed my creative i, I was i wrote yeah. loads of songs this is lazy I, I, I've, I've wrote loads of songs and now with smartphones it's such a terrible oh fucking I, i've come off facebook but it's still there you, you have this inclination to check your phone even and sometimes you, you might you can have no apps on and you'll just be playing it's like it's like that, a, it's like smoking it's like that, what you that, do when with i caught myself doing that and when i went living on the island first because it was so hard to count i realized when i, I thought i felt i felt free not having the phone, not having yeah, look yeah. for it. And then I go back onto the mainland and I see people, then I get my, next minute, I'm like that. that but what am I looking at this for? Mm. Why am I doing it? 
And then, I don't think this is like four years ago, when I stopped doing it, I think I dropped a phone or something. Yeah, I thought, yeah. I'm not getting another one. No, no. I don't want one. And I, I've, I've just through that, I've done so much more and do more, loads of shit. Yeah, yeah. Whatever I'm up to, this and that. But a lot of it is because I don't have a phone. It, it's turned us all into dopamine junkies as well. The yeah, hit, the hits, that is that, the, yeah. The, the hit you get is dopamine. I'm, you know, my, my swapping now, by being back here yeah. to uh, to yeah. my PC, yeah, yeah, YouTube and shit. Is that why you fucked a phone off then? You, you can't be fucking yeah. doing with it. Nothing yeah. to do with people following me in this yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. Basically, because I I can see myself, I can see everybody else doing it. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's in denial about it. Yeah. Everybody does it. I, I a, did it. We all do it. I will be honest. I have a problem. I it have a serious problem. People listen like that. It's fine to be like that. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know, you're looking at shit. Do you know? What, do you know what's really affected? Normally, when people are talking at me a long time, I, I glaze over, and it's because yeah. like it, it damages your concentration because you know we live in a world now. I just feel it. it's so wrong. I'm not fully sure no, how, it, how it to describe wrong. it, but it's fucking I, wrong. I was going to ask you, before, tell you rather, you, you mentioned getting letters in prison. Yeah. Um, I used to have loads of pen pals years oh, ago. Right, We're talking yeah. over 10 years ago. But that's an amazing yeah. thing because yeah, yeah. We'll, we, you'd like, oh, you check the mail every day. Right, and yeah, yeah. You got a letter from your but pen that, pal. It's, it's that We've lost yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We've lost that now. You, you now you connect with somebody. I think it's schools like, used to encourage you, didn't they? Like a French, oh, you got you a know, French pen, pen pal. You, no, no, we've lost that. that. Now it's like you, you connect with them on Facebook and well, they've not messaged me for three minutes. Uh, and yeah. it's like bang, bang, bang. But it, everything's faster. It's definitely some ways. Um, like Facebook wise I, I've connected with loads of people yeah. loads of pluses from when it first come on yeah yeah um, a lot of my mates from here there and everywhere and it's the only way people can get hold of me now yeah, through yeah. messenger yeah but then I'll catch myself doing it I, I always say I'm going to poke myself in the eye if I ever scroll down on Facebook I'll go like oh, oh, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Like, okay I won't do it yeah. just look at my messages yeah yeah or notifications whatever yeah. but once you get not into something next minute you're on it or somebody's tagged you and oh, fucking hell uh, if yeah. I spend, I thought I've just spent an hour talking shite. Yeah. It's not even funny. The banter's not that. If it when it first come on, there was a bit of banter. I thought, oh, this is a good crack. And also, people were saying it's really good for birds and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mate, I'll tell you, my mate Baz put me on right. So I'm very. Uh, I don't, I've never done nothing about computers. So I get this computer. It's you want to get on Facebook. It's brilliant. He's he's trying to. He's describing it to me. Then I'm thinking, what? He says, right. You take pictures of your tea. And then people like it. I'm going. What's yeah, it? What it do is you mean? Up. Says, yeah. Well, you you know things like this. So you take a picture of your of your tea, and then somebody will say, like, "Hey, that looks good." I'm going, "Why?" Yeah, so, yeah. No, you know because. So he's already well into it at yeah, that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. The fucking asshole, right? He's friended all my family. He's gone right. This is because we have a lot of friends. Yeah, yeah. He says, right, there's all your friends or whatever. He says, that's your first post. What do you mean post? Says, that's your first thing you're saying like that. I love cock. Like that. What's that mean? He went, you telling everybody that? I went, what? Right, why have you done that, Baz? He says, yeah, well, yeah. He says, I haven't done it. You've done it. I went, right, get it off your dick. Yeah, you know, yeah. she's no, that's on there forever. You, know, you fucking ass. That's my introduction. I, to I remember uh, Cheers, Baz. when I was down in London doing that television show in, it was 2006 and uh, I stayed with the ex-manager. How long were you there doing that? We did about a month. Uh, month it right, was yeah. um, a brilliant experience, that yeah, kind of thing. Was, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I knackered myself up. My health, my health was terrible by the end of it. How old were you then? Thirty-five. I didn't look it, but um, then, then I was I was the oldest one in the house, and I was the only real working class one. And there was all that upper middle. Yeah, that. They were all that like, kind of well to do. You, and um, you're the novelty novel. I, I, I remember just mentioning shoplifting and like like. <laughs> and, and, and like no everybody's looked at me it's like I'm joking you know I mean? because like you know what I mean yeah. everybody knows Nick's from well used to and, yeah. and, but it was a great time It was. A, I, I got caught Nick in uh, Luke Skywalker I can still remember the shame well, did, did you yeah mum and dad were brilliant you should have used the force that's oh. a shit joke I'm sorry um, anyway but um, <laughs> yeah I think yeah um, my mum shamed me didn't shout at me just looked at me and started crying a bit after oh, after God. that show um me and my mum got caught shot. Well, I got... You and your mum uh, we, we had this scam going oh, in, uh, yeah, in, yeah. Uh, in the Tesco's down the road. <laughs> what, we'd, what we'd do... I mean, God bless my mum. Point, point Have you point. accidentally done no, something? No, I... Um, she had a shopping basket in a trolley and I worked out, right, we, we'll fill your basket with stuff and put a, bag, a carrier bag over it and go through it till they think we're paying. And, and, and <laughs> um, but we'd, 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 you know, we must have... 
we did about fifty pounds worth of stuff a week, and it wasn't stuff we needed, but yeah. I'd be stocked up with all vitamins and cod liver oil oh, and glucose. Yeah, yeah. And um, do you know when you get caught shoplifting, like you said, Luke Skywalker, it's always usually the shittiest things. And with this particular time, I had a, it was a copy of FHM, <laughs> a little thing for holding tea bags on, uh, some some Lynx chocolate. It was really shit stuff, and. Um, and it was going out normally as we did, and I got pulled over. My mum and then we were two cups upstairs, and um, oh, and yeah, then they were waiting for I was, wait, I was waiting for policeman, and um, I said, um, "Can I have a cup of tea?" And she he said, uh, "No, we've made your mum one because she's crying." I said, "So if I start crying, will you make me a cup of tea, kind of thing?" And then I come and I, I got the, so I was like, "This is a Z list." Reality TV star, you got to do my shop, but nobody give a fuck. Yeah. It wasn't like I wasn't anybody. I wasn't even Z list. It was like fucking yeah. I don't know beyond beyond the alphabet. But that was my shoplifting kind. Of, yeah. I've done a lot of shoplifting in my life, kind of. Thing, I wouldn't say I've done a lot, but uh, I did it. Like when I got, I said, and my dad did a brilliant one on my right. We lived in a pub as well at the time. Yeah. So I, I've got caught. They haven't shouted at me. Mum's on the crying thing. Really shamed me. I'm thinking, oh god. Uh, I was expecting my dad to really go. He just looked at me. Just went. You don't see number. I was only, yeah. about, only about eleven as well. Yeah. So wait, months later, there's always loads of fighting in the pub. In the daytime, this close in the daytime. Then there's a copper has come in. Must I'm presuming now that something to do with a fight. I've seen this copper. I've gone uh, after my dad says uh, they come round. You know. I'm like, what do you mean they've come round? He says come round to check you up to see if any, any more you're shoplifting. So, I haven't. I haven't done any shoplifting as well. They'll come around every now to check you out. Oh, it really worked with me. I'd walk around Blackburn and I'd see coppers. I'd think they'd be going, there he is, that thieving little bastard. Did you ever get that? We've Actually, given no. you everything. I, 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 there's, a, like, there's a speech. No, I, mean, I know that, that kind of one. Kind of, um, we, me, yeah, me and Mr H you. from another channel, um, we, when we were kids, we are going to scrap metal and we'd steal bits of scrap metal. Well, I, allegedly get little bits of scrap yeah. off the railways and weigh them in and we get fuck off for it they'd rip us off the old lead roofs and we, we, there was this uh, old house being renovated and there was, there was two fucking aluminium sinks in and it was like fucking hell that's mm. like the holy grail yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, we, I'm we, getting we, memories we, of we, that we, we, we were what and we got 50 <laughs> this, yeah. is, this is 80s this, so we get 15 quid a piece yeah. which is like fucking mega yeah. money yeah. you know what I mean so, and we, we were walking down to, to the scrap yard which is almost it was about a mile away through Ginnells and all that and we was coming into this entry where the road was, and we were laughing, all of these things. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if police come there and caught us? A policeman oh, just yeah, come yeah. right in that second, pulled in, and it was like, where have you got them from? He went that way, and I went that way. He <laughs> get in the van. Yeah. And uh, fucking, this is this is typ typical of my life. The week before, my dad had said, uh, he, he'd started doing a bit of a fruit and veg round. And fucking, uh, I'd been going around all folks' places selling cabbages to them. And I had a cabbage leaf in my pocket and they find it when they search him and they go, check his other pocket, he might have a waste disposal unit, which is quite fucking funny, really. <laughs> and uh, that was my <laughs> laugh. And, and our parents come to the station and I was getting this kind of thing. But we, uh, why have you done... It was like we was going away for 30 years for a bring smart. It was like, yeah, yeah. my mum were crying and your dad, my dad were doing that, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I just remember another funny little story. I, uh, we got in the big, big scrap in Blackpool, I ended up getting arrested. I'd just been uh, shagging this bird in, on the, in the middle pier. She was a big fatty. Yeah. She was that big and her knickers were massive. And I said, can I keep your knickers? She went, yeah, if you want mine. So just so I can go to the lads yeah. the other night. And I went, so when it gets to the police station, empty your pockets, I'm like that. Oh, no. And it, next to me, he's going, what? Hey, Sarge, look at this. So I went, oh. Was it like that with the magician's thing? Yeah, that yeah. Like? <laughs> thinking shit. Well, let's get you back uh, on here again. You know, I think that, and that, from that experience, then though, I nearly got sent down. Never did anything again. No. Was so close that time. No. Well, that's me done. Just silly fighting for nothing for a laugh. Only yeah. twenty one kids. We'll have to get you back on here again, though. Uh, uh, at some yeah, point, definitely. Yeah. Enjoy, but, got um, fuck all else to do. We? No, it, well, it's exactly. But uh, thank you very yeah. much for coming, mate. I've had a yeah, great no time. Worries, thank yeah. you, Stephen. Thank yes, you, mate. Thank you for me at work, Stephen. Does that work? Do you have a, we'll put your Instagram link under here. I don't know how to do it. I'm sure we will. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. Um, uh, Colin, will you be able to flash some images up of Stephen's art at some juncture in the um, doings? Is he going to sit there? Me. Oh, would you be able to do it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Do we uh, put it in at this point? And, uh, yeah, we could do like a Tony we'll some fancy music. Is, it, is Tony this where you go like that and it's like, a, it's there. Yeah. It's somehow there. Tony Arts Gallery. Can we yeah. some like the Deer yeah. Hunter Cavatina underneath it? It was the Deer Hunter music, weren't yeah, it? Yeah, we'll get a copyright like? strike again. But yeah, I don't oh, yeah. mind. I don't mind. We've no, yeah, we'll come back and do no a bit of music. We haven't talked about music that much, have we? I know. We can talk a bit more if you want. With fucking monetize this, you get about fucking seven pence and fucking over a decade. But. I'll, we'll definitely get you back on soon. Um, thank you very much for coming yeah, no and sharing worries. your stories. No, it's been a good laugh, hasn't it? Um, past, past if you want to donate to the channel, you can buy us a coffee or there's a PayPal link below. Please subscribe. We need some fucking subscribers. Like this video. I dislike it. It all helps the alg algorithm. Smash the like buttons. Don't smash your houses up. Um, I think that's about it. Have you any, yeah. fan, have any closing thoughts, Stephen, on anything? No. That'll do for me. Um, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Right, let's, let's let's get secretly drunk somewhere. Fair play.